Good evening, everybody, and welcome to an exciting episode of Graveyard Keeper, which we've been doing for I don't even know how long, but that's because that's my current game mania, and I have every right to enjoy it while I still can. Today, we're starting things off with a cocktail, because I can, and it was a wonderful, it was actually a pretty good week at work so far. We're only halfway through the week. Hashtag hump day. It's, we're over the hump now. Although, technically, so if work is the hump, or no, okay, so this is the hump of the week, right? At the top of that hump, if we zoom all the way in, there's going to be an additional hump up there from the morning to the early afternoon. And so that's a sub hump on top of that hump. But then stream time comes along. Hello, Laura. And then there's another little, so there's a little valley right after I get home and then a peak back up. That's another hump to get over. I'm at that hump, but I'm sure most of you are probably over the big hump. I'm just at another little hump, a, a, a local maximum, if you will. If we're talking mathematics and whatnot. Local, local extrema, that's a big problem in the machine learning field. But alas, who cares about that? And additionally, as you may have noticed, or perhaps you haven't noticed, I'm really excited about something. For a long while now, I have, I, I'm constantly attempting to improve things that happen, like for this little show that we got going on here. And so I did a little bit of researching. Black Friday came along. Thanksgiving came along. Thanksgiving was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. I got to see my grandfather. More on that later. But so, Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday deals. And so I was like, I should get myself a better camera. So I was like, genius idea. I'm going to go on Amazon and find the cheapest possible 4K camera on there. And we're going to go with it. Well, lo and behold, it, it came. I tried it. It had quality that was even worse than my, my webcam which I thought was pretty bad the way it was. Not not bad bad, it was a, it's a good webcam. I still use it for work, because this camera doesn't function as a webcam, only as a, you know, there's technical details there. But, so like, I was like, oh my God, I am so disheartened. I was completely disheartened by the fact that this camera was, first of all, not 4K, not at all. It wasn't even HD, it like, you know, 4K being the uh, a big number that a camera can't remember right now, but HD is 1080p so at 60 frames per second. It was terrible. It sucked. So I swiftly returned that to Amazon and I went home and I was like, I was just chatting about it with my parents and whatnot. And I was like, yeah, yeah, this, this camera really isn't, it's, it's not what I thought it would be. And I feel bad. Like I got my money back. So there was really no problem there, like financially or anything. But I was like, I just felt so bad that I was like, oh, I got so excited about it for something that I really can't use. And so my mom was like, hold on a second. Let me go look in the basement. So she goes in the basement and pulls out this little number, which you can't see. It's the camera. It's it's the camera. I'm talking to the camera. This I'm pointing at the camera this time. That's apparently this 4K camera from like five years ago because she bought it. This is the third. So, so she would re record all of the theatrical performance that my brothers and I would put on in high school, middle school, and whatnot. And so she's got camcorders for that that she would record things on. And so she she gets one. Uh, I think the like after I right after I graduate high school or right before my brother Julian graduates high school and she's like I need a better camera so she buys one it's terrible she buys another one it's terrible she buys a third one with some advice and whatnot family camera for cam it's true I'm so happy about it but so she's like we haven't had a performance in a while so I haven't used this in a while my dad was just like you don't use it just let Cameron use it for now and lo and behold I had to buy a capture card like an actual capture card better than the little Roxio piece of shit whatever that i got over there um but needless to say i think it's got zoom feature it's got so much stuff that i i love i'm definitely gonna play with it a bit like on stream sometime because i'm like ah! and to boot i didn't have to pay a dime for it although i will pay a dime for it eventually that's this is something that i'm going to budget for down the line so that i don't actually steal the camera away from my parents because it's a very nice camera thank you robin and charlie you are wonderful and so, this is the crisp little thing you got right here. And I'm super happy about it. And most importantly, now we can see our grapefruits in stunning HD quality. Like, I love that. It's like, and if autofocuses too, it doesn't focus on the background unless I tell it to. It's great. Hello there, Peter Chris. Hello, everybody. Take a look at this grapefruit. It autofocuses on the grapefruit. This is a high quality grapefruit shot. I'm so excited! Oh my god! I am so incredibly excited about this. I've been like... I'm like, gah! Okay, anyway. Let's get back to the show. I uh, I will continue to... I'm, this is definitely not going to be the, the only time this stream where we do this cool viewer thing over here. Oh, and, and of course you probably... Uh, Christmas tree. Christmas is coming. Thanksgiving's over. Some people put up their Christmas decorations too early. I start right after Thanksgiving. That is my rule. 
You know, if I were if I were a less disciplined man, I would put it up right after my birthday, which is like a week before Thanksgiving, but I have to, mm, I'm disciplined. I'm telling myself that I am disciplined. So I will go with that. The spirit of Christmas came early in every single way. Well, now that I got all the things that I want, I don't even know what Santa Claus is even gonna wind up getting for me. Probably like more like, like I could use another one of these little like measuring things. A little, little, little dumb thing. Anyway. Any who's it, what's it? I'm excited. I'm in a good mood. Let's make a cocktail. We're gonna get another cocktail from my Thousand and One Cocktails book. Uh, I was looking through this a couple weeks ago, and I wanted something fun, fancy, and free, and something that looked as looked good enough for the camera. And supposedly this one's is gonna be good enough for the camera. Today on the menu, we've got a drink called, and this is a weird one, Rule Britannia. It's this one right here, Rule Britannia, and it's got a two-tone thing to it so it looks really cool the cool thing about this one is oh well you know what you know what let's just wait until we get to it it's cool looking because the picture looks cool if you saw the picture and you spoiled the surprise for yourself just forget it ever happened rule britannia which reminds me of a hell of a lot of that show um code Geass, where there was an actual like sovereign nation of of like britannia and then it was a whole rising up thing. It was a very political thing, but it was also really entertaining too. Sir, if you really had no restraint, you wouldn't let the goths hold the holiday line or keep the Christmas up the all year round. Yeah, so see, the thing is, if somebody put up their Christmas decorations early, I'm not gonna be like, yo, take it down. I'll just be like, you know what? You were partying in your own special way, and I am so happy with that. So happy with that. Let's get this bad girl started. Bad boy? Bad person? Let's get this bad person started. It's a book. It's... It's a, it's a book. Kogios. I know, right? I know. It's a good show. So to start out with Rule Britannia, the, the description goes a little something like, unusually pretty and clever, but it requires a few hours forward planning to get these, uh, the secret ingredients, which I won't say, ready in time. They melt quickly too. They do. Actually, there is one ingredient. There is one ingredient that is actually in the fr uh, freezer still because I literally can't bring it out now because it'll, maybe it'll melt. No, but anyway. Uh, I'm excited. So I got got some things that I'm putting in my cocktail shaker. I start some things off. Um, so there's a there's a there's a YouTube show that I watch called How to Drink. And apparently, according to How to Drink, actually not according to How to Drink, according to some scientist, which was referenced by Greg from How to Drink, you there's a certain like combination of ice cube sizes that you're supposed to put into your cocktail shaker to get like the prime shake. And so apparently, that's one big ice cube which I finally got a mold big enough to make, like, a big ice cube. Oh my god. Excuse me. I almost knocked things over. And you know, like, crushed ice cubes, too, but I, I don't feel like making a total mess like I did last week, so I'm just gonna put a couple, like, a, a couple little small ones in there. Um, and let's see. There's, there's a Disney one in here. Yeah, that one is supposed to look like Daisy's, Daisy Mouse's bow. Uh, well, it's getting there. Okay, well, that's all in there. And now I don't need to pay attention to the ice anymore. I need to add, so this, this recipe comes in measures, and I'm trying to fill up an entire cocktail glass here. So it's, it's one quarter of a measure of Campari, this guy, one half a measure of vodka, your choice, and one quarter of a measure of pink grapefruit juice. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make six ounces of this total. So here comes the math for that. Daisy and Minnie got together. Ugh, oh, ugh. Oh. In our wildest fandom fantasies, I look forward to it. All right, so I need one and a half measures of Campari, because that's six times one quarter, and if you want to make it easier yourself, six divided by two is three, divided by two, yet again, is 1.5, which is one and a half. I said Daisy Mouse, I don't know how I screwed that up. I'm supposed to be the Disney person. I mean, Anna's the Disney person, but she's not here right now, so I'm supposed to be the Disney person. Anyway. One and a half ounces of Campari. Because in my glass, my goes in my glass there. Eventually, now that I've got this lovely, lovely camera here, I plan on continuing to improve the different angles with which I try to film and present things. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I need three ounces of vodka. That's six divided by two, AKA six times one half. We do math on the show sometimes. So I do the big side. I do one full thing of the big side. Trying, trying not to overfill. Don't want to. Don't want to make a mess. Two ounces, and then one full of the other side, which is an additional ounce. This might be a little too much liquid to put in this one side, so we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. I also, I also need 
1.5 ounces of grapefruit juice, which means here comes the painstaking part of the cocktail recipe where I cut open a grapefruit and painstakingly juice it. But hey, at least the grapefruit's in HD. Anyway, Cameron making a study up before I can spend my science or faith points in the game. You better study up. It's science time. Science time, baby. Anyway, I need the, I need the big stuff for this, so I'm going to pop that into this one. I'm going to need the big one. I need the big cube for that the big side because there's a lot of there's a lot of liquid in there but don't worry i filled up my water bottle so we're good this time around i forgot to, uh, to fill up my water bottle last time let's cut open a grapefruit an hd grapefruit cut with an hd knife now that looks awesome look at that knife. Uh, anyway let's let's not get super enthused about the, uh, the the knife we shouldn't worry about that knives are dangerous kids so cut with care I'm attempting to cut with care, not one, because I'm trying not to hurt myself, and two, because this is a very wobbly table and it has fallen before, which is why you don't see any glassware on the table right now. That was two weeks ago, or three weeks ago. It was three weeks ago. Remember, I forgot, we, are, we were celebrating Thanksgiving last week. Oh, be careful. Oh, be careful. Oh, it's good. It's good. Nice. Ah, uh, it's, it's smelling like a grapefruit because she is a grapefruit. Are you she? Are you man? He is grapefruit. He smells good. <laughs> oh, delicious. And, uh, of course, I have this, compared to the grapefruit, comically sized, comically sized juicer. Because, oh, why did I turn that off? I gotta put that back on. Uh, this is for an orange, but this is a big grapefruit, so hopefully I get one and a half ounces out of this. And I'm not gonna do it on the table, because if I do it on the table, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be sad. Although, everything's kind of sad, because it's, uh, it's not big enough. This is a big one. It is a very big knife. Compared to the other knives that I have, that is the biggest knife in the house. And actually, I would say it's the biggest knife that I have in my personal collection of people in my life. However, I did just find the machete at my parents' house. It was hiding in the garage. It's a little rusty, but I think it's still good. So that's technically the biggest knife that I have in my personal circle of cronies, family members, acquaintances. Although technically speaking, the sword that my brother has is bigger than the machete. But is that really a knife or is it a sword? Machete Mac, AKA backwards cam, eat a cam, eat a cam, it, it a cam, it a cam, can eat a cam. Can cam, can you eat a cam cam? Let's, let's not, let's, let's not consume ourselves here. I am, um, I am not so gifted with such ability to be able to, well, I mean, technically speaking, To be perfectly honest, I think the grapefruit tastes better. Oh my god, consumption! I have nothing to consume yet! Here's the water. It's been so long. Oh my goodness. I love that. I love to consume. We love to consume around here. Not always alcohol. You don't always want to consume alcohol. If we do consume alcohol, we make sure to take breaks with water. Hi, dearest. Everybody wave to the dearest. Hi, dearest. I can blow you a kiss in HD now! Mwah! I love how every single time I have been doing any sort of HD stuff, I'm doing like those, you know, like when you watch those 3D movies when they first became like a thing and they had all those really, really cheesy, really corny 3D effects. That's what I'm doing right now for you. Anyway, I'm not proud of myself, but I, but I often am not. I have very high standards and I often miss them. I think that's an ounce and a half. That looks like an ounce and a half. Let's try it. Ounce and a half? Ounce and a half of grapefruit juice? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm such a dad. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. If if somebody will let me be a father. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. All right. That's an ounce and a half. I'm down with it. Let's do the backwards. Let's do the backwards flip. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. That goes all in there. That is looking a mighty pretty color. I can't wait for it. Let's take this stuff and put them underneath. Oh, now that the camera setup is better, uh, everything else will get better too, I promise. This this bar thing, it's going to be back over in the corner. Maybe it won't have the Christmas tree. Maybe I'll have to get another Christmas tree. A bar Christmas tree. I actually went to a Christmas tree farm over the weekend because uh, my youngest brother is currently part-time at a Christmas tree farm uh, over in my 
over in my hometown. And so we went to go visit him, and we were like, oh my god, we should totally get a Christmas tree. But my mother is allergic to Christmas trees, or maybe a particular kind of Christmas tree, I'm not exactly sure. Douglas firs, I think, are the things that we know set her off. Uh, but so, we don't have one of those. Um, I'm gonna get back to the Christmas tree. Actually, you can, can we still hear me? I'm gonna test later to see if we can still hear me while I'm shaking this thing. Actually, that's fine, actually. But so, we were on the Christmas tree farm, and we thought maybe we should get, like, a baby Christmas tree. And by baby Christmas tree, I'm saying, like, a Christmas tree that's not even bigger than this. It's, like, it's, it's big, it's smaller than this. It's smaller than this one. But, like, oh, man. And now I'm thinking to myself, totally should have got myself a tiny Christmas tree so I could put it on the bar. We don't have a bar yet. It's still just this table, but, eh. Baby tiny Christmas tree. Like, like, a little nibble of a tree. Anyway, that's, that's shaking enough. In any case, let's pop this over here. I completely forgot my strainer, so I'm gonna strain the old-fashioned way without a strainer by just kind of doing, just kind of doing this. Just kind of pour it in like that. This is not the end of the drink. This is not the end. I hope I measured this right. Did I measure it right? Mmm, probably measured that right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Okie dokie. That's fine. That's fine. And now... I would say the final ingredient, but I'm not exactly done with that yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is... I thought I had a peeler over here. Did I not bring my peeler? Hmm. Excuse me one second. I'm going to get my peeler. I'm going to get a peeler and put a great, great thing on it. I always forget sometimes. But while I'm up and over here, I can get the final secret ingredient, which I will not yet put on camera because we're sneaky like that. Sneaky boys. Sneaky boys, sneaky boys, sneaky boys. Don't... No, no, no. Don't look at that. You didn't see that. You didn't see what was just on camera for like a split second. I'm gonna try to garnish this with, I don't know, I I don't exactly know how good a grapefruit peel, a grapefruit twist is gonna look on this. The drink doesn't call for it, but I'm trying to work on my garnish game here. And I feel that perhaps, oh my god, I just had an even better idea. It's gonna be grapefruit and a plant. I'm gonna go get leaves. Which leaves? Uh, Bob. Bob, no, no, not Bob. Don't want the basil. I want the mint plant. We're gonna grab some mint things. Uh, let's just take... Can we take a leaf? Can we take a sprig? We're gonna take a sprig. All right, got the- No, you're attached! In multiple locations. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready for the- I'm ready for up in my garnish game. First, I'm going to take this grapefruit and peel it for as long as I possibly can. Now, usually you would use something called a channeler, which is kind of like a peeler, but the hole is a whole hell of a lot smaller and looks more like a teardrop or a circle. Let's peel an HD. <laughs> Why not? See how much peel I can get out of this. This is a really heaping peel. Wow. It's also very difficult. This is, this is not, oh my god. Ooh, that's a nice sound. Is that picking up in the capture? Oh my god, it does. It is ASMR. Look at that. Oh my god, and there is grapefruit oils getting everywhere. Can't wait to clean that up later. Let's see how, 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 how much can I, can I, can I do that? Is this ASMR enough for you? All right, well, that was as far as I got in one go. So let's take a measure. How long is it? Oh my God, that's over a foot long. Excellent. In any case, I am going to very carefully kind of put it in there and should we, should we snake it around? Can we do that? Can I snake that around? Uh, no, let's just, let's just put the whole thing in there. There we go. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, delicious. This might overflow the drink. Anyway, grapefruit. Thank you very much, grapefruit. And so, I don't know if this is supposed to have to do anything with the namesake of the drink. I don't think Britannia is a real place, unless that's what the Britons call their own home country. Um, question for those of you over on the pond, over across the pond. I have questions. In any case... We put some blue ice cubes on the bottom, and it gives a very interesting color. Now, according to the picture, it looked like it was going to float. It really didn't. Can I put one more in there? Eh, playing with fire. Oh, we like to play with fire over here. Oh! All right. I think that worked out without anybody getting hurt. I'm cool with that. I've had those ice cubes in my fridge for two weeks now because, uh, lo and behold, so the ice cubes are blue because there's blue curacao inside of them. Blue curacao is also alcoholic. If you freeze water with alcohol in it, 
it becomes a little frosty. Like, it's not really solid ice. It is going to melt rather quickly. And actually, it kind of, kind of is. I'm not sure. Can you all see that from your angle? I'm going to try to turn it around. It looks better from my angle. Let me try to turn that a little bit. Oh, my God. It kind of looks like his eyes staring at you. Oh, that is wild. Like, blue eyes that are just like, <laughs> you're going to drink me, aren't you? Yes. Yes, we are. Or at least I am. Oh my god, I forgot the, the, the plant. I'm gonna put a plant on there. Yeah, there we go. I think that's gorgeous. Now presenting... Rule Britannia! I think that's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good looking. According to Wikipedia, Britannia is the female personification of Britain. What sort of dune blue eyes is this, right? Oh my god, it's kind of duney too. I did watch that new movie. Zendaya does pretty well. All right, I should take some liquid off of this. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. <coughs> oh my god. That is very boozy. Um, it actually has a sweetness that is kind of comparable to the bitterness that comes off of the Campari. It's not bad at all. It smells nice. It smells like a mint plant that just got ripped off from part of its home. Um, likely story. Sorry, menthol man. The non-binary mint plant. That's, that's, that's why I named my, I named my plant Menthol Man, but that doesn't mean it has to be a man. It can be whatever it wants to be. And it is kind of dripping all over the place, and I thought I had a coaster on my desk, but to be perfectly honest, I don't know where it went. Oh dear. Great Britain is the island that has England, Scotland, and Wales, so yeah, makes sense. Yeah, Britannia, and it could be, yeah, whatever it wants to be. Rule Britannia, we rule Britannia. Oh, 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 here's the cool part. You might not have noticed, because I just noticed only now that as the ice cubes melt, it actually floats. It goes down to the bottom. So apparently these alcohols don't mix. It's actually a little blue down there. I if, can I get a better light on this thing? I can totally get a better light. I'm happy with it. Look at it. Look at mm, Can I do it with that? Yeah, all right. Ooh. I'm gonna like duck my head. That's a nice, that's a nice thumbnail cocktail. Now the thumbnails get good. I like it. And it's, it's nice. It's a, um, I think it's, rather sweet with the grapefruit juice it actually balances out very very well with the bitterness of the campari which i'm gonna be sipping this off the top of the glass for a little bit because i can't move it yet nice nice very cool with the fruit snake dress stressing the vibe stressing the divide the divide oh yo brexit happened didn't it too soon i don't know yeah the divide oh you meant the divide of the colors yeah, I see that too. I totally see that. Maybe that's supposed to be the divide. You know, I think maybe the divide is supposed to be the blue, the white, and the red. Red, white, and blue. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be red, white, and blue. I don't know. You know what? Let's, let's make it look even cooler. So one of the things this camera can do is it can zoom like really, really good. So let's like, let's like take a closer look at this guy. Let's take a closer look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Anyway, it does kind of look like two eyes just like peering at you into the darkness. Mint and HD. But watch out for the HD knife which might come ruin the party! It's kind of dirty because it did just murder a grapefruit. That is so cool looking. Let me, let me put that back to a comfortable position. Apparently, there may be like um... There's a, there's a remote that came with this thing but it's out of battery so I can't like zoom from a distance. It's so cool. It's kind of got that goofy orange mouth. You know, I think this reminds me more of a Muppet, which feels very childish to me, but apparently I don't know the, the subtle nuances of, of um, Jim Henson's comedy. The Muppets were not necessarily supposed to be for children. That's Sesame Street, which are also Muppets. But like Kermit, Kermit in the, in the, in the, in the gang, Gonzo, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, Swedish Chef, they can be adult humor or like family humor. I don't think it's actually adult humor. It's very family humor. Anyway, presenting and continue to the present Rule Britannia, which has that really awesome color scheme going on. And it's great. It's great. Oh, and the Muppets have the spirit of the 3D gimmick. Oh my God, this is so Muppety. This is so Muppety. I like that. I like that. It's great. So if you'll allow me to very, very carefully move this over to the... Oh, goodness. All right, well, I very, very carefully just made a mess on my desk. I'm gonna go get a paper towel. Things ain't perfect over here, folks. 
But if things were perfect, there really wouldn't be a show. Excuse me one moment. Actually, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this. Oh dear, things are dropping. No glass is broken though. Let me very carefully move the table out of the way. It's cleanup time. Clean up, clean up time. Oh my God, don't get stuck on the table. This is probably the right time for a break, but to be perfectly honest, I don't feel the need. Get out of the, get out of the frame. Come on, get out of the frame. Yep, yep, yep. Go, 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 table. Go, go, gadget. Table, move away. There is no stage crew. It is just me. And, and, and the guy who's trying to get the paper towels, which is also still me. Where are the paper towels? Did I run out of, no, and I just bought paper towels. Oh, here are the paper towels. I have to go get some new ones. Have to open up a fresh new roll. Paper towels. Hammer made a boo boo. Incoming. Here comes the cleanup patrol. See, see, that's the thing. Because there is no stage crew, if I make a mess, I gotta fix it. Oh, that's all up in my keyboard, too. Oh. Mmm. That's unfortunate. That's gonna be a little sticky later. If I just. Now isn't the time to randomly, like. See, at this point, well, the way that I would usually clean this up is I would be like, oh, let me just slam in all the keyboards just so I can get all the keys on the keyboard just so I can get into, like, the little interstices and spaces and stuff. But if I do that now, the stream very well might break, and I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to be very careful here. I'd say I apologize for stopping the show, but the show is still going. Why would I, st why would I stop? The show must go on. <laughs> One time, actually, I did, uh, so... The show must go on is a philosophy that I like to live by, and that started way back in the theater days of elementary school and middle school and whatnot. And so many, many occasions, things would just kind of like randomly go wrong on stage. And I would very happily kind of break position for a moment to like very, very carefully and very astutely fix whatever went wrong. Like somebody's hairpiece fell off or somebody missed a line, or at least in one case, somebody missed basically an entire monologue. And I was like, all right, here we go. And the show went on, despite the fact that people were going on. Now, to be fair, I think the reason that that monologue was missed literally during the show was because while the rest of us were attempting to rehearse and whatnot for things and memorize our lines a week ahead of time before the show actually began, the two other people who were on, on stage were, I think, having some troubles in their relationship. And apparently that made it to the performance. And there was a little bit of drama that wound up becoming that weirdness that happened on stage. There were lines being thrown all over the place. Like, like I feel like when you're on stage and you have, you have an idea of like what line is supposed to come next, you kind of prepare yourself for it, and you get into that zone. You're like, I know that I know what the sequence of lines are. I know this line comes after this line comes after this line comes after this line, and then all of a sudden, like those those lines got out of order, and I was like, um, w what's going on here? Like, oh my god, they forgot their lines. Oh, I should I should run on stage. Anyway, let's put my. I think we're finally ready to go. I think we're finally ready to go. The desk is all clean. There will be no stickies later. Cheers, everyone. Let's get to it. Okie dokie. I need to grab my controller. Hopefully it's working today. Is my controller working today? Hell yeah, it's working today. I love that. I freaking love that. Whew. Oh dear, sequence breaking to speed run a show. <laughs> Dude, speaking of speed runs, I just saw like... What I thought was like one of the coolest speed runs the other day, and it was, um, oh, sorry, my chair is acting funky. There we go. There we go. Chair feels good now. My chair has been acting really, really weird. Anyway, we're here. Uh, but I saw a speed run of, I think it was, oh my god, what was it? I can't remember what it was. Ah, gosh. I'm trying to remember what the speed run was. It was a game that I didn't think you could speed run. Oh my god, what was the game? Oh my god, this is gonna kill me. What is the game? All right, well, I don't even know what it was. Oh, what just happened? Oh, whoopsie. Somehow, I accidentally clicked the Windows button on my keyboard. Did not mean to do that. Oh, whoopsies. Anyway, I think it might have been... Yeah, I don't remember what it was. I definitely did see a speed run of a level in Hat in Time where somebody literally just, like, jumped into the distance. Like, just kept on diving into the black and eventually popped out the other side exactly where they were supposed to be. I was like... Like, how do, how do speedrunners out there, like, figure out all the, 
like the subtle things that you need to do. Like I suppose a lot of it is on the internet, but what about like the the speed runs that completely like shocked the world? Like how do you find that stuff? It's insane. It's crazy. Let's see what I gotta do in this game right now. Would vocalizing what genre it was or what was unspeedrunnable help? I think it might have been. I want to say it might have been like a. Was it a Pokemon game? I, I think I don't think it was a Pokemon game. I thought maybe it was like brilliant no 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 it was a pokemon game i remember what it was so it was the newest pokemon game that just came out brilliant diamond and shining pearl honestly i wish it was sh brilliant pearl and shining diamonds so i could be like jojo reference because shining diamond is a stand in jojo's bizarre adventure by the way i think stone ocean comes out real soon if not it came out today what um but apparently like they were able to go into the menus and like literally like clip through walls and entire boundaries and like move so far into the distance and then save their game close it out come back in again and like bam they're at the they're at the uh, pokemon league and then and then cynthia the champion is just like oh you're gonna time for a fight and it's like uh nope actually during the cutscene, i'm just gonna take the elevator behind you so that we don't have to fight and i was like oh my god it, it was crazy it was insane like i think it took them maybe a half hour a half hour maybe to beat the game it was like crazy. And I think they beat it with only the starter Pokemon and like a Floatzel. 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 Eb eb uh, uh, uh. Evolved version of Weasel. Anyway. Time to focus on what's going on here. To be perfectly honest, I was not prepared to continue playing this game. Because I constantly forget where I was previously. And it's been like two weeks. Apparently, I need to find out what the Gypsy Baron knows about Esmeralda. I need to do that. Spirit laser. Witch hill. Got that. Bring back the necklace from Snake. To get Snake, I need to reach 20 at the dark church. The dark church in the basement. Ooh. Did they even need to fight? I don't think they fought the champion. I think they just moved on. And then the cutscene at the very, very end just happened. Like, wow. I need to bring the trade of uh, the merchant a trade license. Five gold star dinners. 50 at the church. Uh... Aya yeah, 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 Jackie. I love that show, Jackie Chan Adventures. I remember nothing about it except they had to go around finding these little hexagons, the the runes or something, the charms, the tokens, the coins, the tiny little hexagonal stone tablets, or something. How many bodies do I got in there? I got two bodies in there. All right, let's do this methodically. I need to burn more bodies. I need to burn people. Place for burning corpses? I need wood bullets. To get more wood bullets, I just need to bring more wood up to my little area over here. I get more wood so I can do more ashes. Ashes and salt and stuff like... The talismans! They were talismans. That's what they called them. They were of the Chinese zodiac and each had its own power. Yeah! I I group Jackie Chan Adventures into the same category as Shaolin Showdown. Not necessarily because of like the seemingly similar like ethnic origins of the show. Maybe not even similar. That could be like diff completely different sides of Asia for all I know. Or not even Asia at all. I'm really unfamiliar with geography and whatnot. But I enjoyed them both in a very similar way in the sense that the characters were going around trying to find like magical objects that each had their own power. And I was like, I like that. I like that type of stuff. It felt very much like a video game of sorts oh you know oh, before i mm, before i go into the town i want to see how much a trade license cost i currently have sticky palms from the shit that i just cleaned up i have sticky palms i do have that i think i need 50 silver for a trade license so i think that's only five four less than five four ish less than four ish silver tokens coins coins and tokens that's what we got. Oh, but I love both of those shows, shows. I don't remember... I think I watched Jackie Chan Adventures when I was a lot younger, so I remember considerably less of it than I do Shaolin Showdown, but I also don't remember a lot of Shaolin Showdown. I need 50 silver. Let's, let's sell wine. What else can we sell? Do I have things in my inventory to sell? Like, proof that I... Bodies and stuff? I got some grape seed. I got a bunch of firewood. Where does firewood come from? What day is it? It's upward facing day. Upward facing day calls for the Inquisitor. Yeah. But I do remember, I now remember that they were called talismans in Jackie Chan Adventures. And I remember that the other, in, in Shaolin Shodan was the Shen, Shen Kong Wu. Shen Gan Wu, I believe, was the name of the all the different things that they were finding. And uh, I just, 
Tuton Tunic, Orb of Tsunami, and various others that I just cannot remember. There was also a 10-gallon hat, and I want to say they just called it the 10-gallon hat, which was <laughs> just a really big hat. I want to say it was basically Hammer Space. Oh, I can collect some. Nice, I got some grapes in there. I need more seeds, though. I require more seeds. Oh, are those... Oh, I needed fertilizer. That's why I was doing alchemy. Fertilizing. I need quality fertilizer one. To create quality fertilizer one, I need... Crafted a church workbench. I needed alchemical something. Definitely remember that. That was most definitely on the goal of what I needed to remember. Okay, can I plant anything else? How many more seeds do I have? Do I have enough seeds to plant more wine? No, looks like I've run out of that. Makes me sad. Makes me very sad. All right, well, I'm gonna put- Oh, wait, 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 wait! I still got- Oh. I, don't... I still don't have enough seeds, even in the chest. I don't. Actually, excuse me a moment. I need to put a little bit of water on one of these- one of these uh, paper towels so I can wet my hand a little bit and my controller because my palms are sticky and I don't... I just don't like that omen. I don't like what that bodes for me. Like, palms are sticky. What does that mean? What is to come? What sort of misfortune is there to come with sticky palms? Or what may have already come to pass? For all I know. Uh, hands, you doing okay? What is... Oh, I've got... I've got paper towel bits all over. I I'm just gonna like... I got water on my hands now. There we go. Just a little bit of just a little bit of slapping noises to make sure that you know we are clean. Actually, I should get a fresh paper towel because now I think my hands are even stickier. I just I can't win. This is why we improve things around here. The reason why we improve is because there is clearly room for improvement. I don't need sticky palms. Well, maybe that should be maybe we should add that. Maybe sticky palms should just be a thing. Like 500 channel points. Sticky palms action. Cameron literally just finds the nearest pot of goo and just sticks his hands in it. And that's the rest of the stream. He doesn't even play a game because he doesn't want to mess up his controller. He just kind of sits there with his hands like this, like, my hands are sticky. And then two hours later, the stream ends. I'm not sure if I would enjoy it, but different strokes, different folks, so to speak. And why would I want to take that away from the people? I, I would never take that away from the people. The people, the people need. If the people need sticky palms, <laughs> the people will get sticky palms. We'll make it happen some way or another. I mean, the easiest way to do it now would just be to slam my hand into my cocktail again, which I still have to be very careful about drinking. Still very full. All right, that was a that was a good one. That was a good sip. Very good sip. Definitely better than the last sip, which got all over the place. Church workbench. Quality fertilizer. How to make quality fertilizer. How do we make quality fertilizer? Quality fertilizer, one, can be created in two different... No, just one different way. One one way? It's just, it's just this stuff. All right. Growth enhancer. How does one create the growth enhancer? I have not yet discovered a recipe for a growth enhancer, nor any sort of enhancement. Just none of it. I don't even know. I don't know how you managed to find that stuff out. I mean, technically, okay, I shouldn't worry about that because I don't think it matters requests. I'm trying to prioritize progress. Some would say that progress is the root of all evil, evil and they may be correct, but we're, we're playing with dead bodies. Feels pretty evil. I need to focus on capital capital gains what type of capital gains selling wine and other forms of alcohol i should go foraging how many grapes i got here? grapes grapes i think we need 15 i need 15 grapes see I, I literally forget everything so this coming this coming friday uh my uh, my my boss is a huge fan of the musical hamilton so before Hamilton became available to stream on like Disney Plus or other streaming services, he somehow found clips of it on the internet and pieced them all together into his own rendition of the show. So we're going to watch that on Friday. Note, he does not distribute this. It's not illegal. He's not making money off of this. He's just sharing it with his coworkers. Give the man a break. But so we'll be watching that on Friday. And 
How did I get to the topic of Hamilton? How did I get here? How did I get to the show? What was I thinking about on Friday? Okay, I have no idea how I got here. I don't know how I got here, but that's the story. That's what's happening on Friday. I'm looking forward to it. I hope I'll have fun. Oh, no, now I remember how we got here. My memory is not... I wouldn't say my memory is bad. I'm very good at test taking. I'm very good at memorizing entire scripts for shows, but it's not like reliable. I don't have a reliable memory. I think that's probably the best term for it. But so he's brought up the show Hamilton multiple times. And I'm like, yo, I love that show. It's a really good show. I've watched it before. And he's like, oh yeah? And so he shares with me, he shares with me all these different like Hamilton references and songs and stuff of the like. And I'm just kind of nod my head around I'm like, yeah, 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 I like that. But he never like, so, and he's like, wait, do you act, did you actually watch Hamilton? Cause I don't think you watched Hamilton because I'm not doing a very good job of showcasing and proving that I watched Hamilton by recalling information that would seem to be commonplace knowledge. For example, the different characters that appear in the show, such as Lafayette, who probably has a first name, which I don't remember, which isn't helping my case here. But, but I'm like, I, I, I do remember it. I really do. But I remember things, I guess, in different ways than others. Like, if you were to sing me the songs, like, I know some of the songs, like, the tunes of the songs. Like, I think, I might be wrong about it, I think, no, no, it was the king. It wasn't Lafayette. It was the king. King James? perhaps who sings the song that goes like la da 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 but i have no idea what the name of the song is i do not remember what the words are king george thank you and i barely remembered what the name of the guy who sung it was like how do you expect me to know i just i'm bad i'm bad at it i'm not i'm not good at it let's sell just enough iron so i have enough to go buy a trade license uh was it you'll be back? It was you'll be back. Yeah, that's the part of this. That's that. That's the one where he goes like, you'll be back. And then there's other parts of the song, but <laughs> again, I can't remember. But now that you say you'll be back, I remember him saying you'll be back in his style in the song. I remember that. I definitely remember that now. Wow. I'd say it's all coming back to me. But the only thing coming back to me was that one statement. So to say that it's all coming back, not accurate. The show, if, if what goes on in my head were a cable television channel, it would not be Boomerang because it is all, it is not at all coming back to me. Although I do remember quite a lot of the shows that I watched on Boomerang. For example, The Jetsons. Actually, I just saw the other day that apparently George Jetson's birthday is in the year 2022 or something. So apparently we are or will soon be living in the world of the Jetsons. We still are not flying through space and we definitely don't have a post-apocalyptic world where nobody dwells on the surface. Which come to think of it sounds a lot like the Kingdom of Zeal in that Chrono Trigger game. So maybe the Jetsons are magical, not science. They've got robots. Are robots science or magic? You decide. If you, are, if you are capable of making that decision. If you are not, no pressure. I understand. Such decisions like that can be... stress-inducing. It would stress me out. It certainly would. What is next on the list? It is Astrologer Day. And what are the astrologers need? Try to find out what the Gypsy Baron knows about Esmeralda and her child. The Gypsy Baron really didn't tell me too much. There was somebody up near the fort that I needed to talk to, I think. Well, let's go talk to the Gypsy Baron. I haven't seen the Gypsy Baron in a, in a, in a hot minute. Um, I mean, hot minute as in two weeks, because it was two weeks ago. But technically within game, I saw him rather recently. I'll be like, brother, Gypsy, my friend, I have not seen you in so long. And then the Gypsy's going to be like, my friend, why are you trying to talk like me? And also, I saw you yesterday. Or rather, like a week ago. It really hasn't been so long. But please, just speak with your own tongue. And I'm like, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, probably probably should lay off the uh the impressions <laughs> gypsy i mean to be fair why are we call does he call himself the gypsy baron because if so like i'll call you the gypsy baron so tell me about esmer rights can't tell you about it talk to lord inquisitor about releasing gypsy women i knew i needed to talk to the inquisitor and i thought i tried to talk to the inquisitor about it but apparently not did that quest not show up here 
Where's Gypsy Baron? Gypsy Baron? Gypsy Baron? Gypsy Baron? There you are. Right there. Now, why wouldn't... Why wouldn't the goals show at the top of the list? Potentially room for improvement, supposedly. I also need moths. How do I how do I unlock moths? Moths are a thing. I already unlocked moths. How do I gather moths? Maybe I should go up to the forest. You know, I'm gonna go hide in the forest for the night. I'm gonna be a woods keeper. Who needs a graveyard keeper if you don't have a graveyard? We've got plenty of forests that need keeping. And this dude doesn't seem to be keeping any of it. Isn't that right, Tress? What are you doing, Tress? What are you up to, Tress? Selling wood bullets, Tress? You're telling me that I could burn a body for the low price of a silver and 34 copper? I cannot accept that offer. I have no money. Cancel. I'm sorry for leading you on. How about you, Shepard? You sell anything? Trade? You're welcome, fella. Oh, I forgot. You sell literal shit. Well, I got plenty of shit of my own, friend. Plenty. I've got 99 piles of it. But yours won't be one. Oh, don't suppose having a lamp out at night would get moths. Can I make a lamp? Is that a thing? Surely, surely. If I was able... If I needed a lamp to attract the moth... It would have also given me a crafting recipe to for for lamp. I would hope. Maybe not. I am unsure. I have a lot of faith in what I believe this game should be giving me. Although, in the past, it hasn't. I go up to the quarry. I like the quarry's closest to the forest. Let's go find a moth. I really Where would I find moths? Bees come from the tree. Wait, actually, do I need... Do I need, like, an apparatus? I may need some sort of apparatus with which to... With which to actually, like, capture the moths. Like, a net or something. Mm. I think about that now, and it does make a lot of sense. However, if things made total sense in this world... I guess there really wouldn't be much of a world. There wouldn't be any questioning everything, you know? Science channel, dudes. Can I buy moths from people? I feel like I can buy moths from the witch. Probably. Maybe, maybe, all right, maybe I should give myself a little hint of how to find them all. Should I? Is it something that I would figure out on my own? Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna go around and try to see if there's a place that I can build. Perhaps one of the blueprints that I've missed? Where I can build something that attracts moths? Hello, graveyard. Graveyard, do you have moths? Are there moths in the church? Is it completely barren of peoples and folks? Confession? No, no confession today. Oh, but it is Lord's Day. I like Lord's Day. Can I... Is there a moth emporium that I can build in the graveyard? No, I don't believe so. What if I go to some other random blueprint? Oh, by the way, I, I double-checked things after the last time we played this game. Apparently, this area is labeled the crematorium. Look at that, right in the top right of the screen. Crematorium. How is I supposed to know that? I would have never figured that out on my own. Never. And I'm like... Gosh. Maybe I did unlock some sort of technology, right? I can gather butterflies, moths, and bees. I have not yet been able to gather bees, but perhaps I need to, like, whack a tree with a... S that doesn't... that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. Maybe I can build... I'm gonna see if I can build something. Let's see. No, can't build... nope. Okay, no net to build. Not like Animal Crossing, unfortunately. Can I build... no. Can I take candles and put them outside? Can I start a fire? If I start a fire over here, will that help me? Can I cook things on the fire? Fuel from the stickies. I can make baked apples and kebabs. Interesting. Can't just roast that over, like, I can't just roast it over, like, my own, like, thing over here. Can't do that. Seems, seems a little odd. Let's put, let's put some firewood in there. Maybe if the fire is on fire, it'll attract moths. Perhaps, perhaps, perchance. Is it on fire? Yes. <laughs> 
You are on fire now. Oh, but it's getting light time, so. How do you get honey without getting the chance getting the chance to take some bees? Apparently the bees are asleep. You know, let's go double check that. Let's let's try let's try to tempt fate. I'm gonna get honey during the day. I want the bees. Hello, bees. Would you like to give me your honey freely? Well, look at that. I found a bee. But then where do I get moths? Can I get moths from flowers? I'm gonna test this hypothesis. I am going to gather flowers and see if there are be there are, are there any moths? Moths in the bushes? Moths in the shed? A broken apiary? I can't research apiaries yet. Just kidding. Bees will now be domesticated. Let's repair it. Oh, look at that. Paper, parts, and you know what? Maybe, just maybe, I really, really need an apiary. Maybe. Or perhaps moths are only in the marsh. I don't know. I The game doesn't properly instruct me on what's supposed to be done. It feels very reminiscent of games of the past. Kind of letting you explore the world on your own, make your own decisions. But my god, I need direction. Because I need moths. And I know I can buy moths from... I'm pretty sure I can buy them from the astrologer or the witch. One of the two. Actually, because I have no idea what's going on. I'm gonna go try talking to the witch and be like, Hey, ha, sorry if I'm like, like, profiling you or something, but like, you look like the kind of gal who would sell insects with wings. That sometimes come out at night and sometimes don't, but often do, and surround lights, because... As we humans attempt to search for the meaning of life and existence as we know it, moths, flies, and stuff, just kind of go towards whatever makes them feel good. Flies like fruits, moths like the light. Got anything? Got any growth enhancer? I got it. You got a random alchemy recipe? You sell frogs. Growth enhancer, tanning agent. Not at all what I was looking for. Any any stuff? No. Claw though, your name is too punny to not have at least one moth. Well, <laughs> guess who doesn't have a moth? Claw though. Did I have a? Did I need to do something for you again? No. Okay. I have, I have nothing, nothing for you. Nothing, nothing at all. Can I find moths by picking flowers in the marsh? Hiccup grass, moths, moths at all. Can I, can I slam trees? What if I cut down trees? Will I cut down trees and find moths within them? Probably not. Cause that doesn't make sense. Bees from a beehive, that makes sense. Moths from Objects that light up? I I don't know, dude. I, I don't know. What if... I have an idea. Burning bodies provides... Burning bodies provides materials that you wouldn't otherwise get anywhere else. Salt. Ash. The lot of it. What if, by using up the flames on the fire, at night, by cooking up kebabs, or whatever... What if those will bring the moths to the yard? Do my kebabs bring all the moths to the yard? I don't think so. Will these apples that are way too crispy? Will these mushrooms that are way too crispy bring the moths to the yard? Is this area next to my graveyard considered a yard? The graveyard is yard. It's literally in the name. Although that doesn't always hold true for things. Isn't it crazy that you park in the driveway, but you drive on the parkway? You think, oh, which one do you drive on? Probably the one that says driveway. No, you're wrong. English language. I'm sorry that you had to find out here. I... So sorry. But alas, this is the language with which I was born. I don't like it, but I have no other alternative. It's about the cathedral. Don't worry about it. Do you sell moths? No, but you do sell candles. Oh, oh candles. You know what attracts m You know what attracts a moth? A candle. Candles to you, a graveyard keeper, are like moths to a flame. <laughs> but where's the flame? And where's the moths? I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to get moths from burning bodies because flames 
Nah, maybe I have a moth already. Do I have moths already? I'm gonna take a look around my little apartment over here. See if I have any mods in any chests. I've gotten bees before, I think. So where would the mods be? Nope. What about, what about over here? You got them over here? Hello? Mods. I'm going to find you. You got a mod in here? No, but you got a bee. We got bees in here. There are no moths. There's no bees. Where the frig did I put all the bees? I'm confused now. I'll go build the apiary. Whatever. Probably something useful. Maybe. Just maybe. I can only find moths in the basement. Because that also definitely makes sense. There's flames in the basement. It's a dungeon down there. Why wouldn't there be flames in a dungeon? And then moths to the flames. Ugh, closet feels natural for mods. Closet? Yeah, well, I wish I had a closet. I don't. There is no closet. Oh, apparently I kept the bee outside. Makes sense, actually. Actually, that, that makes sense. Why would I keep a bee inside? It's gonna die. I need some iron parts. I need four simple iron parts. Look at that. Four simple iron parts. And I think I needed flat pieces of wood. I think I have some flat pieces of wood, right? Flat? Flat wood? Nope, I don't have flat wood. Hmm. I need to make some flat wood. Flat wood, flat wood. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I take you off of this saw horse thing that I got? I don't have enough energy. I should eat some food. Num, 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 cutlets. There we go. Wooden planks. Now, do I see any moths? Are there moths down there? What if I cook some mushrooms? I don't have any mushrooms. Wait, wait I thought I picked mushrooms. All right, I'm gonna go find some mushrooms. And then I'll be back. Any mods around here? Can I shake the lantern? No, but apparently if I click the Y button up against this thing, I bump into it. Which, by the way, also does not bring about mods at all. I found fireflies. Can I collect fireflies? I cannot collect fire. Stop hitting the rock, sir. Any mods? Cattails? Sand, butterfly, you know, how were the, on that note too, like, where the hell are the butterflies? Is this a rock? Is this a rock? Oh, there was a rock there. Where are you going? No, no, stop. No, I don't. Fine. We'll dig you up to, oh, what? Yeah, yeah. I wonder what this little thing over here is for. Maybe this is the columbarium. I, I don't even know. I'm gonna go up. Up to find moths in the forest. But first to build an apiary. Oh, yo. It's raining. Everybody knows that moths love to come out during the rain. Alright, what can I build now? Beehives. But no moths. No moths at all. Hey, look. Moths. From flowers at night. But not all flowers. Four more moths to go, I guess. Eh. I'm confused. I'd like to consider myself like a pretty, pretty smart guy. I'm not there all the time, but like. Eh. I got another moth, though. So maybe... Oh, maybe butterflies in the day, moths at night, you know? See, with this newfound train of logic that we've now found, that makes sense within that within that realm of logic. That makes total sense now. Oh my god, wait a minute. The birds are chirping. No. No, no, no. No birds. No daytime. Only moths. Like moths to the flame. Moths? Moths? No, no moths. Ah, I need more flowers. Oh my god, I need more moths. Ah. Now, it also would have been really cool if like somebody in the town would be like, Hey, by the way, have you ever picked flowers at night? Because if you pick flowers at night, you'll find moths. And it'll be like, yeah, I had no idea, actually. <gasps> oh my god, do I have six moths? Ah, yes! Excellent. Let's find butterflies. Butterfly, 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 butterfly. Collectively, we are geniuses. High five. 
HD hand. High five. I like that. That was good. By the power vested in all of us, we will succeed. Life finds a way. Moths find a way. Apparently beehives find, find a way. I don't need these flowers. I'm gonna eat these flowers. Mm, nom, 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 nom. I can eat flowers. They give me energy. I can eat flowers for energy. Oh, did not mean to swing my sword like that. I mean, I don't really need that many butterflies. Unless the person I'm about to give the mods to is like, I want butterflies too. And I'll be like, sir, you are asking a lot for me. But yes, I will give you the butterflies. If you so request it. So I will collect some more. There are none. I wonder if flowers could be used to decorate the graves. So yeah, actually, you can, I think, take orange flowers and turn them into things that'll increase the, like, the, the goodness of your graveyard. The more... So, like, the way that the graves kind of work is that you can get more points for your graveyard if you finagle with the bodies. And you can put flowers... Like, like flowers are an automatic, like, plus two, I think. But... I think bodies themselves can be anywhere from minuses up to a bunch more. So, like that's like the that's like the sh the sure go, but it's not a lot versus the riskier like over time. But it's cool. Orange like the mums for the Day of the Dead. I like that. Let's just say yeah. Oh, for sure, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Although they are just red flowers, do they look like mums? Are those what mums look like? Let's look up what mums look like. What is a mum? Mum flower. Flower. Mum flower. What does a mum flower look like? All right. Well, so when I look up mum flower, I get chrysanthemum. So um. Oh, here we go. Chrysanthemums. So um. To be perfectly honest, doesn't really look like a chrysanthemum to me. That kind of looks like a pansy. Yeah, very... I'm getting pansy vibes from it. Uh, let's go over to the lighthouse. And give you your mods. You want your mods? Here's your moth. Oh, I'm going to trade you moths for a fishing rod. I already have a fishing rod. Ah, looks like now you're officially one of us. I'll be glad to buy any fish you catch. And as you prove yourself, I'll even sell you a nicer rod. Can I just buy a nicer rod from you? Yeah? Cool. But I could always buy rods from you. I thought. I thought I could always buy rods from you. How is this any different than it was before? I'm just... I like you, dude. But... I really don't see how our situation's any different now. You know? Dude... Do you dig, bro? Do you understand? Like, I just gave you stuff, and you didn't give me anything in return, man. That's like, not chill, bro. I need more space, so I'm gonna eat more flowers. Yum. Mmm. Look at how much energy I've got now. Bro. Bro, flowers, dude. You ever just, like, go into the forest and be like, it's a pretty tasty-looking flower? Well... I wouldn't recommend it. Makes you trip on balls, man. Like, like, balls are, like, circular, dude. And you can trip on them, because when you step on them, they roll. And then when it rolls, you lose your foothold. And then you fall to the ground. That's why you trip on balls. But, like, also, massive hallucinogenics and various different types of cannabinoids that you can find on the grounds and the forest floors of the Amazon rainforest. Wild. Um, don't do drugs, kids. Adults? Do whatever you want. I don't know. I'm, again, not your father or your mother. So do whatever you want. But I got my mods now. That's cool. I'm gonna put the, uh, the bees. I'm gonna put the bees in the basement. I'm gonna put the bees in the basement. Was it opium that comes from the type of poppy? Yes. Yes, indeed. We like... We like... No, we really don't. We don't like opium. Opium's a problem. Opium is a... Opium is a bit of a problem. In case you... In case you hasn't heard. The opioid crisis? Ever heard of it? 
it's okay if you didn't if it doesn't it, honestly like if it doesn't affect you directly can we really like shame somebody for not being aware of something although a lot of things do affect you like indirectly but like directly directly like like for example the uh like the mall kind of closing down in your hometown going like oh my god cynthia you didn't know the mall was closing down like yeah cynthia never went to the mall why would she even care how would she even know that there was a mall to begin with you can't shame her for that that was like um oh my god what was it the other day i was talking to somebody at work and oh yeah, yeah, yeah so somebody at work only just recently discovered that like michael jackson was an artist and like like started listening like i think heard a song of his on the radio and it was mommy kissing santa claus because like the holiday season oh no, no no he always knew of michael jackson sorry he always knew of michael jackson but he just found out about the jackson five which was obviously the jackson family and where you know michael jackson was singing like before he was an adult and he's like yeah i just found out about the jackson five and like i feel like some of my coworkers are like what you never heard of the jackson five like oh my god like this that and the other thing like well i mean like he kind of listens to rap music a lot and although Michael Jackson was like the king of pop, he's not really into pop. And Michael Jackson, like the Jackson 5's music was like kind of like soul funk and whatnot. And he's not really into that type of music either. So like, it doesn't directly affect him. So is it really like right of us to be going like, I can't believe you never heard of this guy. Like, is it really that unfathomable that like of all the artists in the world, there are thousands, if not millions, that I didn't hear of this particular group, despite the fact of their, despite their, their fame, and presence in american culture like i wouldn't i wouldn't blame you for that i i get it i get it oh it's downward facing day oh i was supposed to talk to the inquisitor i'm not gonna make it in time or was he on upward facing day oh it's okay that's an upward facing day what's downward facing day the necklace miss charm charm charmed i'm sure are you charmed are you charmed who's charming am i being charmed is this a is this a game to you? Did I have carrots? I need carrots. I'm gonna go grab some carrots. Go grab some carrots so I can bring some more bodies. Bring more bodies to me. Actually, what other ways can I make this area in my basement more satanic? How can I make things more satanic than they are currently? I could make some sacrifices. Put some skulls up on the wall. Is Snake being charmed? Oh, I get it. Like Snake Charmer. <laughs> That's funny. I get that. Crucified skeleton on the wall. I'm sorry, what? Crucified skeleton on the wall? That's oddly specific. It's like, Jesus. But it's not. If I take these things, I can get a blood fountain. I totally want a blood fountain. How many? Actually, do I need... I'm gonna make a blood flat fountain. That sounds awesome. What do we need for that? Marble? Polished brick of stone. Polishing paste. How do I make polishing paste? Stone repair kit. Let me go upstairs and grab some of those. Does does that count as satanic? Well, it doesn't seem very Christian, so I guess. I suppose so. Maybe. It feels very Christian. Crucifixion and whatnot. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. But alas. Let's take... Oh, I have polished bricks of stone! Awesome! Yeah! I need polishing paste. How do I create polishing paste again? I know I can do that. I know that there's a way to do polishing paste. And I honestly don't remember how to make it. Is that somewhere down here? Polishing paste. Polishing paste. Polishing paste. Polish, polish, polishing paste. Did we see that anywhere? Oh, polishing paste. There we go. Had it. Crafted at a carpenter's workbench. Carpenter's workbench. Carpenter's workbench. Circular saw. Carpenter's workbench. Carpenter's workbench. How do we make polishing paste? Oil! Oil in bowls! I need... How much polishing paste? I do have oil, and I can go get more oil in the basement. Let me... Let me double check again. Oh my god, wait a minute. I lost health. Why did I... Why is my health, like, halfway down? Oh, maybe it was because of all the flowers that I was eating, dude. Too many flowers, bro. Too many flowers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, man, dude. I need five of those for two of them. I want to make two blood fountains. That sounds awesome. Ten pieces of the paste and two of those. So I'm going to go... I'm going to make my way up to the quarry. 
quarry, quarry, quarry. We're gonna have a quarry. Quarry, quarry, quarry. You know we're gonna quarry. Stone. 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 Can I please put the stone on the... Can I not put the stone on top of it from the northern side? I have to put it from the bottom. Why can't I put the stone on top? Oh, because that's the iron stockpile. Not the stone stockpile. That seems oddly appropriate. Whoops. It happens. It really happens sometimes. It really, it really do be like that sometime. Yeah. I want to make polished bricks of stone, and for that I need a chisel. I don't have a chisel. Where's my chisel? Chisel? I don't have a chisel. Why don't I have a chisel? Why don't I have a chisel? I need a chisel. I need, I need me a chisel. I'm gonna go back down to my my home. Grab a chisel. Are there a chisel down here. Chisel. Chisel. Can I make a chisel? Make chisels down here. Chisel. 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 Not a chisel. Chisel. Ch How did I make a chisel originally? I know I've made a chisel before. Oh, look at that, a chisel. <laughs> I just remembered. It just, it just, it's all coming back to me now. Or just that. O only that came back to me. Let's make a chisel. Nice. Like that. I made a chisel. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use my chisel. To create polished bricks of stone. I want two of them. Two more. That'll be the perfect number. I need another piece of stone. Let's make more pieces of gem stone. Interesting how all that stuff works out. Oh! My body is tired. Apparently I never slept for the evening. I need to do that. Oh! I'm out of energy! Time to eat! Flowers! Because that's what we're made of! Flowers! And petals and stems and leaves. I can apparently get blue points from this. That is pretty awesome. There we go. Uh, what else did I need? I need stone repair kits. And for that, I need more simple iron parts. Let's go to the dead horse and go do this trade certificate trade certificate thing with the merchant so that we can start a business together. Have my trade license. Oh, great! Now we're in business. Between my connections and your hard work, mm, we'll be super rich. But first, we need to organize our process. We'll open our first office in this barn. Um, seems like a startup. Hey, I work for a startup! We'll put pallets here, and I'm gonna take crates of goods from here every claw day. Crates? That's right, we're in a big business now, so we need to pack our products. You're a heavy fellow, and I know you have a workshop near the graveyard. I'm sure you can pack everything in nice wooden crates. You know, our trade license allows us to sell practically anything. We can sell any kind of goods. You don't need to pack only vegetables, although the, although the food shortage has driven up prices quite a bit. So, But if you can find some cheap labor, selling other goods can be profitable too. I will try. Let me see. I think for a start, I can sell one crate per week, but that's not too much. But nobody's heard of us. We need to invest in marketing and make our first sale. So our company has two main goals. One, first, increase our trumpet level to at least three. That means we'll be able to sell three crates per week. Second, sell our first seven crates. That's seven with two T's. I'll be proud for us if we can reach these goals. How can I approve our trumpet points? We use an ancient technique that never fails. We're going to solicit the townsfolk. We're gonna make a bunch of advertising flyers and leave them on an office desk. I knew there'd be a purpose for those flyers eventually. Hmm, in my world, we use celebrities to boost sales. Brilliant idea, you can ask Miss Charm to represent our company. That'll definitely work. I could also advertise our company during my Sunday ceremonies at the church. That's a great idea! Now I know for sure that I've chosen the right person to be my partner! You and me, together forever! Graveyard Keeper and Merchant! Yeah! How am I gonna transport those crates? They're heavy. The most obvious way is to move them along the road! But maybe there's another way. I think the storage room is connected to the church cellar. I knew it. But I'm a little too portly to climb down there and check it myself. I've got all this fat on me. Look at how much fat I've got. My love handles just won't cut it. 
Um, hmm, maybe I can move these crates to the tunnel. But I'll need to build an elevator for the crates. No more questions, Your Honor! Oh, that's me. Let's talk business. Oh, that's the business. Trade? Can I? I need some more seeds from you. I'm gonna buy... I want one, two, three, four, five. Alright, that was too much. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? I can't accept the offer. I can't accept the offer. Why? Three, twenty, three, three, twenty-four, twenty-three. Mm, I, I don't understand this math. But, okay. I can't accept the offer? Why? Wait, why? Don't I have enough? Oh, because I don't have enough space in my inventory. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, hold on. I... Don't yet know what to do with the mushrooms. So, we'll get rid of those. There we go. There we go. Now I can do that. There we go. Yay! What is this? Check? Oh, trade report. Oh! That's totally cool. We get stats for it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Something can be built here. Marketing campaign with flyers. I know I have flyers somewhere. I definitely need to go find that. Gotta go find the flyers. I know I have them somewhere. Did I do something with them? I don't remember if I did or did not. I definitely need to sleep. It is it is time to sleep. My body is tired. I'm losing energy as we speak. But first, flyers? Can I put anything down here? Uh, yeah, actually, the blood can stay down here. I'll keep some of the blood over here. Let's put, I don't know, blood. 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 I want ten flyers. I'll put some of this other stuff down here, like the flowers. And this flower as well. I've got some berries. They don't decompose in anything, so really, what's the point? Let's go back up to Sweet Home. It's it's time to rest. It's time for this. It's time for this graveyard keeper to take a rest. But only for the evening. Only for the evening. And then we'll wake up in the morning. Oh. I'm so refreshed. How are you now? Peachy keen, my friend. Peachy keen. All these berries. I think I want to turn these berries into berry juice. Can I do that? Berries into berry juice? Ju juice into juice berry? Berry, ju 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 ber pallet berry juice? Yeah. Berry juice. Mm. Pale of berry juice. Berries. Pale of berry juice. Can I make... How much berry juice do I need for fermentation? No? How about this? Berry juice? Nope. How about over here? Berry juice? Berry juice. Berry, berry juice. Berry juice. A berry, berry juice. Ah, that's right. Fermentation barrel. I need another thing of berry juice. What else can I build down here? Can I build anything else since... No. Okay. Cool. Back upstairs, I need another thing of iron parts. Simple iron parts. So I can go back up and make some repair kits. So I can make the blood fountains to impress Snake. Because I really live for... I live for his approval. Honestly, I, I require... I I yearn for validation. I appreciate the approval. Oh, and I need clay. I've got some of that back at Sweet Home. I guess while I'm up here, I am going to break apart more pieces of stone. Oh, I have to... Well... There we go. The interface to, like, remove items from the queue is a little wonky, but I'll get used to it eventually. That's that's really not a big complaint, in all honesty. To be fair, it's, in all, all honesty, I really don't have that many complaints to, this, to the game. It's it's awesome. I, I've been playing... I don't even know how long. I, I think I've almost played this game more than I did Hat in Time when I first began streaming, like, a year ago. Like, and that's, that's saying something. That is really saying something, because I really, really like Hat in Time. And that's a platformer, too, which is kind of like, I think my, some of my favorite types of games are platformers, and I think that's just kind of what I, what I gravitate towards, but I really haven't, I really haven't played platformers in a while. Oh, goodness, hold on. I just need to adjust my chair real quick. There we go. A little higher, a little, oh, that's apparently as high as the chair goes. 
Alrighty then. It's as high as the chair goes. I'm a very small individual, and I guess my camera is a little too high. It's actually interesting too. I was thinking about how to best set up this camera here, and it's the camera is you can't really see it. I can't even give you a good idea where it is, but my monitor is here. It doesn't. Whatever. Anyway, but so this camera has like hella zoom, like really really good zoom on it. So what I can do is I can have the camera like way over there in the corner. And then I just zoom it into whatever is most important, whether that be like the little profile thing we got going on here. It could be like a cocktail at the bar set up over there or or like when when exercises are requested, like usually I'm completely out of frame for that. But with the zoom that could that could fix that problem. Wah! I don't remember how to make dirt mud thing. What is that clay? I probably get clay down by the water. Let's go get clay down by the water. Down by the water where the people do fishies. Fishy, 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 fishy. Fishy, fishy, swim in the water. Fishy, fishy. Fish. I love fish. I love eating fish. Clay? Clay? No, 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 wait a minute. I just remembered. Clay doesn't come from the water. Clay comes from the moon. I need to go to the moon to collect the clay. Here we go, to the moon. This is very clearly the moon. Wow, now we're in the stratosphere. Now we're in space, now we're at the moon. Oh my goodness, and now, look, clay on the moon. Just as I said there would be. I know what I'm talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. Or at least that's what I want to tell myself. Now I also need polishing paste. I need 10 total polishing paste. And to do that, I'm going to need to go back home and do something. But what was it that I wanted to do? Do something. I'm trying to remember again. Polishing paste. I need polishing paste. I need oil. I need oil, and that's definitely in the basement of Sweet Home. I recall. I do recall now. That's how we make polishing paste. To make polishing paste, I need 10 of them. So I'm gonna need... Got plenty of that. Gonna need to make some more bowls. For that, I need more water and stone. So I need to go... Clay. Clay. Clay and water. That was it. Needs more bowls. I gotta get more bowls. Which means I have to go back to, clearly, the moon. Clearly. It is the moon. It must be the moon. It is literally nothing but the moon. To the moon. Hey, look, an area farther away from the moon. Who knew? We can find clay on Earth. Yeah. I always knew. I always knew. If we really put our human resources together, we would definitely be able to find clay on Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. But was that Clay's fault? Or was that our fault? Pretty sure it was our fault. No, pretty sure it was Clay's fault. And then everybody's like, you know, you make a really compelling argument. Yeah, it's probably Clay's fault. Curse you, Mother Earth, from providing for providing us things to burn that make you feel bad. Like, seriously, y'all, like, if Mother Earth didn't want us to burn fossil fuels, would she ever put fossils within herself? I don't think so. That's what the go that's what they want you to think. That's what the government wants you to think. Take that, government. You know what else the government wants you to think? That life is good. Uh, but, 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 like, like, we, we each other want each other to feel that way too so like life is good don't worry life is good don't be sad and if you're sad do what makes you happy the real climate change is because of the lizard people all right listen i don't want to get into a debate or anything but i'm pretty sure it's the clay that came from the moon 
okay? There really isn't any room for debate here. There's tons of science to back it up. I did my own research. And no matter what type of sources that you give to me, I'm not going to do it. They want to change the climate to their living conditions. No. Pretty sure it's just clay. Pretty sure it's literally just clay from the moon. You see, climate change from the clay is because of the fact that when you remove the clay from the ground, it causes there to be less gravity on the moon. If you take the clay from the moon and bring it down to the earth, it reduces the mass of the moon. If you reduce the mass of the moon, it changes the tidal forces that the moon exerts on the earth. Now the tidal forces dictate the waves and the climates and stuff like that, the tides. So if you change the tides, by changing the tidal forces, by removing clay and mass from the moon, then you interrupt the climate because everybody knows that rain comes from the bodies of waters. If you change the shape of the body of the water, you also change what's the air, what the water is in, like the air and the wind and hurricanes. So that's what I'm saying, right? So clay from the moon makes it lighter. Lighter moon means less force on the water, means less waves, which means less hurricanes, which means less weather, which is climate change. If the wind isn't blowing, how are you supposed to cool off the hot dog that you stuck and nailed to the side of a building? Like, it's not going to cool if there is no wind. It's impossible. Therefore, the earth gets hotter. And now you know, and you are educated. And I'm very happy that we could have this discussion, but it is not lizard people. That I can be sure of. It is most definitely some other equally ridiculous op uh, opportunity. It's gotta be. I rest my case. Everybody, please enjoy Gwyneth the Penguin. She is the star of the show now. Actually, can I, can I, can I do this now? I can like, I can just like put things in front of my camera now. That's so, El Penguino. No, just kidding. All right, that's fine. We'll have to, we'll have to make, we'll make that a thing eventually. We'll make that a thing eventually. Gwyneth. You will live to see another day. Where's all the oil that I have? I know I made oil. Oh, is it in my alchemy? Is it in my alchemy trove? Snake, wait. Are you still here, Snake? I have something that I need to ask you. Snake? Snake? -oo. Snake? 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 -oo. Sna oh, Snake's gone. But it's upward facing day, and it's time to go talk to the Inquisitor about burning gypsies, which is definitely not something that we do. Not something that we do. But the Inquisitor does, because he's a bad dude. You're a bad dude, Mr. Inquisitor. Well, I think you're a worse dude. That hurts, Inquisitor. That really hurts. Oh, I think I have enough oil for it all. Oh, sweet. Sweet home. Lizard people, so it's Snake's fault? I really don't want to pin the blame on anybody in particular. However, if your name is Snake, you were most definitely a lizard person. And I guess we have to. Listen, I don't like to pin the blame on people, but like, if the evidence is there... Who am I to refute the facts? I stand for truth, justice, and the pursuit of stopping misinformation. Yes. Yes, indeed. And speaking of misinformation, or rather quite the opposite, I believe I shall remind you all of some very important information. There are people starving in this world. There are people without homes in this world. And that means that they need money. So, there's a QR code below me. There's a link that can be sent in chat. And we're doing a charity thing. Donate money if you'd like. There is no pressure to do so. But the money benefits New Story, a charity, as a part of Hashtag Thankfus this year. I'm partnering with my buddy Lycos Lore, who will be having his charity stream not this coming weekend, but the weekend afterwards. And I will be having my charity stream this weekend on Saturday if you'd like to come on by. I finally decided what I was doing. And I'm going to be playing Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut because I have literally been listening to Sega Sound Team's music like nonstop for the past like two weeks. 
because I am really into that soundtrack right now. I have 104 songs liked by them on Spotify, and that's not even all of their soundtrack. That's not even all of the games that they have on there. Like, I wish I could listen to more, but I am very, very enthused about it. I think the ones, the songs that I've been having on repeat are Asteroid Coaster Act 1, Terminal Velocity Act 1, from Sonic, um, from Sonic Colors, and also, what's another one? Dude, Mushroom Hill Zone from Sonic and Knuckles. What a freaking, there's a lot of really good ones on there. But those ones, those ones in particular. And pretty much the entire Sonic CD soundtrack. That shit's really good and really wacky. And by wacky, I mean wacky workbench. That's a reference. If you didn't get it, it's a reference. But that's okay, you don't have to get it. I don't blame you, I don't blame you for that. But in any case, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. There'll be food provided if you bring your own food because I can't feed you the food that I have. There'll be drinks provided if you make your own drinks or drink along. There'll be cocktails. There will be. There'll be cocktails throughout the day, um, but only after 12 p.m. Why would you drink before 12 p.m.? I don't know. Well, there'll be coffee in the morning. I really don't get to do a lot of like morning streams, and this will be like the first like really long stream that I've had in a while. I mean, I did the Chibi Robo one, which is a marathon a while ago. Eh. Eh. I don't do it very often, but... Honestly, I really, I really did like a while ago, I had this like thought where I was like, you know, I stream anyway, I would really like to stream for like some sort of goodness there. And you know, I like, I was like, I'd really want to do a charity stream. And I knew this thing was coming up. So I reached out to my buddy like us and was like, Hey, can I be on your team? And he was like, sure. Bro. I was like, yes. Oh, yo, I could put two of these down. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. Look at the blood fountains! Oh man, I can crack. Fill the pool! I can fill the pool with blood! Oh my goodness, I need more blood. I need to go. I need. I need to. I need to go, do something, with blood. I need to go bloodlet these bodies. I need to bleed them dry. I'm gonna bleed you dry, for the sake of the fountain. All shall be one in the fountain. You know, I wonder how pure the process is of actually removing the blood from these these carcasses here. Like, oh wow, those are really those are really bad bodies. I'll take these bodies and throw them somewhere. Oh my god, I have all the bodies. Wait a bit. Oh, you're a you're a zombie. Nice. But I wonder. I I really wonder. Can I just leave all my bodies down here? Like, is there any? Oh, yeah, 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 actually, if I don't burn the bodies, they count towards my body count. <laughs> body count. That's great. That's great. But it's gonna be exciting. I honestly, I honestly have been really, really... I've been wanting to play... God, I really want to, like, give in. Like, I've been trying to play, like, indie games and whatnot, but I've had a hankering for playing some good old-fashioned Sonic games. I want to play... Pokemon. I want to play Super Mario games. I'm like, I am just in the mood for some feel-good nostalgia. And so, I think that'll eventually, I think that'll eventually come through. Eventually, eventually, eventually. But, uh, I'm still not ready for it yet. I want to, I want to try to get through, before I do something like that, I'd like to at least change up my schedule a little bit. Like, I really, going forward, I think I'd, I'd much rather do two streams a week because I, I really really like that because I, li I like doing what i do i like to i like to do this not only for you guys but a lot of it's just totally for myself because i feel like really it, it feels fun it's a, it's a lot of fun i don't do this because I, I don't do this for anybody but myself for the most part like 80 percent of that is for me but you got to look out for number one so like can you really blame me do we do it because we enjoy it and and obvi obviously along the way so long as everybody else is having a good time that's good. That's good. Cause like if like if I was enjoying myself in a way that made people be like, uh, the hell, dude, or like enjoying myself in a way that makes people uncomfortable, then like I don't think there's a point to that. It makes absolutely no sense to me. That completely defeats the purpose of it. Because like I can't. Oh, we're supposed to see the Inquisitor. Oh my God! I need carrots. I need carrots. Give me these carrots. I cannot believe I missed the Inquisitor. You know what? We're gonna talk to the Inquisitor, whether he likes it or not. 
Actually, before I fill up those carrots down there, I'm going to meditate. And I'm going to meditate for a while. I'm going to meditate for days. Literally days. Because it needs needs to happen. It's got to happen. Got to, got to happen. Love to see it happen. So as we meditate and let the time go on, what should we do? Should we marvel in the penguin? There's a penguin here. I like penguins. Actually, I have two penguins here on setup. I have one penguin made of Lego. Oh, who doesn't seem to want to come apart from the Legos. In case I hadn't mentioned before, all of my stream stuff is held up by Legos. And I think it is an incredibly wholesome thing. So I've got my little Lego penguin here. Oh, you want to zoom in on that? You want to zoom in on that? Zoom in on that? You want focus on that? Yeah. It's got a... It's got a... Uh, uh, what is this? It's um. What's the term? Harpoon. It's got a harpoon on it. A harpoon. Penguin harpoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's Lord's Day. We have to break from the meditation for a quick Lord's Day session. <laughs> and, and you know what? While I'm at it, I just, I just remember too. I am going to put some flyers together and do some advertising because that'll help. That'll help advertise my business. It's all about advertising the business, doing what's good for the business. And if it's good for the business, oh yeah, it's good for us. Oh my god, money? I didn't get any money. Don't play me like that. Don't you play me like that. Marketing campaign. Oh, is that it? Oh, I see. I have to utilize trumpets. I have to utilize fame to get more pallets. Interesting. The more, yeah, the more fame I have, the more stuff that he can take back every week. I get it. So how does this even work? How do I build a crate? How does one crate? Oh, but I need the elevator first. Right. So I need to... How do I build the elevator? Is there a... Is there a way to build an elevator? Well, I guess I need to get the flame... I get to get the fame up first. I gotta do the fame first. Fame first, then we worry about other things later. Right? Right. Good. Get it? Got it? Good. Hey, already good. So make some flyers. We'll do that. Man, I thought I was just gonna sit idly by. No, apparently not. I'll make... I mean, flyers really aren't that difficult to make. Is it really this easy to gain fame? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it really is this easy to become famous. If that's the case, it should be. I guess I should be trying harder. Now the goal is not to be famous. The goal is not to be famous. The goal is to just enjoy myself, enjoy myself, and everybody else enjoy themselves too. That's that's the goal of it all. So long as we're all smiling, then it's all good. But gotta make sure I'm enjoying myself too. Half the time, these YouTube videos that go end up going after the fact get like this many views some of them get this many views and i am totally happy with all of it somebody out there once upon a time somebody clicked the like button yeah i was happy that day not for me i was happy for them sir you like this you like this content you really really you do nice good for you happy to be happy to know that we're catering to the masses and by masses, I mean, like the the, the two pe the two people who come back, two or three, two, a handful handful of people, small small handful of people. I come back, I'm one of them. I come back every time. There literally can't be a comeback without me. It just, it just happens that way. Hey, I'm at three fame. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Masses of flesh given life known as people. Well, I am really just a meat bag. We're all just bags of meat held together by leather. Or is it just more meat? Really, what is skin? What is epithelium? What is the epithelial layer, the outermost part of the skin? I don't know. I never will. 
household utensils rack. Can I build one of those? That sounds useful. I'm gonna make a household utensils rack. 12, 10, 4. 12, 10, 4. 12 flitches. I need some more flitches. 10, I got nails. And then 4 of... I want to say it was wooden beams. I might be correct in that. More flitches? 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 Flitches! Flitches, 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 flitches. Yeah. Was that all I needed for a household utensil rack? Slow and steady improvements. Yeah, look at that. Household utensils rack. Where am I supposed to put that? Over here. Do I need that actually? Hold on. What else can I put here that might be more useful? Carpets? No. Flowers? A bed? No. All right. So this is really the only thing. Oh, oh okay. Oh, 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 hold on. Cupboards. A cooking table. Which I already have. I have a cooking table already. What's the point of building a cooking table? Is it to replace... Oh, 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 I already had the updated cooking table. I have that already. Cupboard. Old-fashioned cupboard. I don't know if that does anything good. But you know, you know what? Let's make a utilities rack. Household utilities. Like electricity. There we go. Woo! I can put things in it. And that's good. Probably. Hmm. Alright, well, time to continue until... Ah, well, I don't actually need to continue just yet. I should be able to... I'm gonna go up and grab some wine stuff. Because the, the grape... The grapes have probably grown again. Still need quality fertilizer, but I haven't figured that out yet. So, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Everybody's fine. Everything's fine. It's not like I have no knowledge of how to make these things and refuse to look them up. That's definitely not the case. Why would I do that? Why would I make myself suffer through that all the time? I don't know. Peep, 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 peep. Let's do this. There we go. We got more wine growing. Sweet. Look at all these great wines. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful wines. But Papa, those are the grapes. Yes, but they will eventually become wines. And everybody knows that time is not as linear as you think it is. So if they will be wines, they are wines. They are our wines, child. Child, observe the wines. Seek the wines and put them in your body. But Dad, Grandfather, whoever owns the vineyard, I think I'm getting drunk. What is drunk? I've never experienced this feeling before. Boy. Don't worry about it. You're becoming a man. <laughs> Grandpa, I'm worrying about it. Stop that. Stop worrying. Just let... God has a plan for you. So just let it happen. Let God guide your life. My grandfather does not sound like that. He is a very humble man and he does not incur... Actually, I don't know if he drinks. I don't think I've ever seen my grandfather drink. Hmm. That was actually very nice. My grandfather's birthday is actually very close to Thanksgiving. And so when we went to go visit him, we did a little birthday celebration too. And that was probably like, he's got some early onset head stuff going on. So he's, eh, he's not completely all there. He forgets things a lot and whatnot. But so what we decided to do is we all made, uh, we all thought up of memories of uh, our, like our fondest memories of him. And um, his wife, uh, my, my grandmother, is going to put a book together with photos of us next to our favorite memories with our grandfather. And uh, so that he can flip through the book and hopefully jog some memory there. It was probably the most I've seen him there in the past, like, year and a half. And it was a really, really awesome thing to experience. It was, it was really, really cool. And it was very, very happy. Happy times. Happy times. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Wow, there's a lot of pumpkins and seeds. Oh, it was very... Yeah, it was a really good... I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that time. Worrying about things is the most adult thing you can do. Let's not be adults in that case. I try not to worry about things. I... Like, I... This week has been good so far, but I quite literally could not contain myself on Monday. I don't exactly know... Like, I don't know what a panic attack is. I really don't know what a mental breakdown is. And I'm certainly of no clinical profession to say... I did or did not have one, but if I had to imagine what 
a, a, a mental breakdown was I felt pretty break down, broken down. But it took it. It took a day. I just kind of like I came to a point where like there was there was something that I experienced. Like it felt. I felt like there was a lot of like pressure on me, and so it felt like it all came down at once. I felt like I, I held it up during the entire day at work, and then I came home and I was like, I have no idea how to deal with myself right now. I need to do something about it. I'm just gonna make dinner. And then I was like, I can't make dinner. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna watch TV. And so I watched TV all day, and I felt honestly, I felt so much after getting a little bit, getting a couple tears out, talking it out a little bit. I felt a lot better. I felt like really, really good about that. And then I thought to myself, like, oh, that's why therapists are a thing. Sometimes talking it out really makes you feel better. It all makes sense now. We're social creatures. We don't want to experience things alone. Like, as a whole. I'm sure some of us want to experience things alone. I have some things that I would much rather experience alone. Like things that I don't feel like sharing because I want to experience them alone and I want to think about them alone. There is a section of my mind that none of you have access to. None of you. But honestly, that is probably for the best. The inner sanctums of my mind are an enigma. But only some of them. Many of them I like to share with the world. Many of them. Many of them indeed. Very, very good. Like, for example, what I've been working on at work. So I, one of the things that I've been doing at work, I, I really, I honestly feel like in the past couple of years, I feel like a hacker man. I feel like really, I feel like really, really hacker man. Like, I've always wanted to, like, there's this, there's this app that I use. Uh, it's called Recipe Keeper, and it helps me keep track of my cocktail recipes. And I've always wanted to be able to, like, break it apart and see how it ticks so I can like kind of use it for my own gain right right kind of track my recipes maybe forward emails to an account and it adds the recipes for me I don't know there's a, there's a world of possibilities of things that I could do with it and I want to do that with it and I don't know but I need to I need to figure out the app first and I will eventually and so at work I have been working on that and I'll get into more details about that in a second but Lorelai's been there going back to the whole like kind of breakdown thing like not feeling like feeling like it all is coming down on yourself yeah therapists can be good for both like venting and helping give you tools to handle the things that you're venting that that, that venting can't solve along yeah, yeah yeah i actually i actually thought to myself and i, I spoke I, I speak to my fiance about everything and she at the very least she listens and that's that's honestly the most that i could ask for and so at the very least i was like hey by the way if i get into the state again and maybe i don't notice it can you just remind me so that maybe maybe I can like get a therapist number or something in case it ever comes back like that again? I don't think I don't think it was a one and done deal. It'll probably come back, but I want to prepare myself for it because honestly, there should be no shame in stuff like that. No shame at all. So, might as well have somebody on speed dial if you ever need them. But first, let's talk to Miss Charm about I have some questions. No more questions. Wait, didn't I need to talk about Miss Charm about being a celebrity? Oh, I found out about the necklace. Snake told me that he didn't have your necklace anymore. Oh, wait. That crook! So you can't help this poor woman after all! Actually, he told me where your necklace is. I'll try to get it back for you. Ooh. Task completed. Nice! Oh, that's so sweet. Speaking of sweet things, have you ever had a whiff of Miss Chain's perfume? No. Yes, it smells good. Apparently I have. Ah, even you like it. I definitely need a vial. Can you talk to her and get me one? Why can't you ask her? I don't know why, but she doesn't like me. She's especially jealous of my friendship with Alisa. Who is Alisa? Who is Alisa? I'll try to get you some perfume. I could even try to make some myself. Um, who is Alisa? Are you Alisa? I do not know who Alisa is. Miss Chain! Miss Chain, if you will, I need to know about your perfume. You better talk with my husband, he's in charge here. About your perfume, I can smell it a mile away, and I just want to say, girl, you smell fine. Miss Chain, could you please give me a vial of your perfume? Ew, creep. It's good, isn't it? But I'm tired of it. I'm going to make a new one. I still have a small vial of the old stuff. I could give it to you, but first, I need a little help. Take this food to my sister. She lives at the middle of the swamp. Oh my god, Clotho's your sister! And on my way back, catch a dozen of frogs for me. I'll need them for my new perfume. How am 
I supposed to get 12 frogs? It, it cost a lot of money to get even one frog. Jeez. What is up with you people? That's crazy, dog. What are you even going to use the frogs for? Oh my god. For perfume, apparently. It's all for the sake of beauty. It's actually getting a little dark out. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep for the evening. Get some rest. Actually, I guess I'll meditate. I'll meditate. I'll meditate until the morning, and I'll go say hello to Clotho, try to get that perfume recipe, and then I'm gonna go talk to Merchant Man and talk about advertising. It's time to sit here. But yes, so what I've been really, really happy about is I've been learning to utilize different. Uh, I've been trying. I've been learning to utilize some software that allows you to take these apps and rip them apart, which usually doesn't do anybody any harm. Like usually, that type of harm. Uh, can be done if, like, I'm using it and, like, selling things commercially, which I'm not doing. I'm not trying to use it to, like, exploit things and, like, try to get free stuff that's also illegal, that's basically stealing. But what I am trying to do is see, like, if I, I can kind of make a personal tool of my own. Oh my god, it's almost the end of the day. I completely forgot about things. Wow. I meditated for so long. Anyway, talk to the, talk to the dude. Don't go home yet. Do not go home yet. Oh, you're sweet. You're sitting right there. Anyway. Let's talk business. Our company's well known. Great! Now I see why my the baker gave me a free pie this morning. People are starting to talk about our products. High quality. Two bad we can't sell more than 10 crates per week. Darn license restrictions. But the better um, trumpet points we have, the better price we can get. Soon we'll be able to think about expanding our production line. You know the town does not live by bread alone. No more questions, your honor. Let's talk business. That's really it. All right. Trade? Can I trade more stuff? No? Okay. Maybe the frogs can be found in the swamp plants, like the moths. Actually, that's a really good idea. I'm gonna try that. Uh, let's see. Can I make it all the way to... Can I make it all the way to the swamp? Maybe? Wow. But yeah, so I'm learning to decompile... Like, put quite simply, I am learning to decompile mobile applications. Specifically, Android applications. I have no idea about iOS stuff yet. But, I'm having a good time with it. And oftentimes, inside of those apps are different programming languages and so it gets a little technical I, I should definitely like take a time to like go through like technical stuff like i've always wanted to do a stream where like i don't know we explore programming stuff we do a project we make something from nothing something like that seems cool i've always wanted to do that but i am very un i am very not confident in my abilities on that, so I don't feel like I would be able to run a very good stream of it. But I've done cosplay stuff in the past. Maybe, whatever. I don't know. This is from your sister. There's no such thing as a good apple. I hate apples. That's it? Oh, well, can I have some frogs then? All your frogs. I have one copper. I need to sell things. Uh, all right, time to go back home then. Oh, but first, but first, let's see. Can I get frogs from these things? Froggy, froggy, froggy. Nope, not, not the tree, not the tree. tree. Yes, thank you. Hiccup grass. Do we get any froggies? Do I got any froggies? I don't know. I've actually, I've seen frogs bouncing around. Like, I've seen them bouncing. So... I would think you would just walk up to the frog and pick it up, but I ha I don't have access to those frogs. See, the frogs I'm referring to are down there. Down where? Down down there? I th I thought I've seen frogs down there before. Do I not see any frogs down there? All right. Well, I may I may I may be crazy, but I definitely saw there might be frogs. Which two aware about the poison apple reputation? Yeah, makes sense. I mean, I would think. No, she can probably create poison apples. So she's like, there are no good apples. Like, yeah. Yeah, look, look, look. There's a frog right over there. Look, froggy. There's a frog there. There is a frog. Maybe it's the frog's bedtime. Eh, it's very possible. I, I I can completely understand that. It is, it is quite late. It's quite late. I need to make some capital. Apparently, I can create the... Well, I need to build an elevator. 
Maybe I need to research, like, technology? Zombie mining? No, zombie woodcutting. Is none of this stuff? Maybe it's in, like, engine... Uh, fine woodworking? No. No, 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 no. Can I unlock, like, how to build an elevator? Maybe. Smithing. Mechanics? I didn't research steel. Yes, I did. I thought I did. Did I not? Engineering. I can create water pumps, which seems appropriate. Places for lanterns. I feel like lanterns would also attract mobs. I don't know. What, what else do I got here? Can I? I guess I'll research steel. I mean, steel chisels, iron hammers, anvil too, electric boogaloo. Um, steel tools. That's probably okay. Wow, I need a lot of stuff for engineering. Wow. That is a lot. A lot of engineering. But I don't think that helps me at all to create an elevator. Farming in nature. Maybe it has to do with, like, shipping, perhaps? No. Definitely not book writing. Definitely not theology. Although, there's a lot of blueprints there. And all this stuff. Elevator. Preparation place. Double pallet. Fridge pallet. Pallet pallet. Pallet Pilates. Any elevators? Zombie elevators, perhaps? Alchemy, alchemy workbench. Eh, not that stuff. I need more blue points. Gotta get more blue points at some point. Do I need to talk to Snake about anything? I need to reach 20 reputation at the Dark Church. I need more blood. Oh, you know, I was meaning to put... I was meaning to put some carrots down here. There we go. To bring along the donkey, to bringeth me more dead bodies. More bodies. More bodies, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, to use my, utilize my crops for good. Oh, it seems that I've run out of carrot seeds. Let's make some more. Let's see about that. Okie dokie. So, let's see. Did I already plant... Oh, do I not have any seeds that plants there? Oh, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Very sad. It makes us all very sad. But we have carrots now. Carrots are good. I should also clear up some of my inventory space. Oh, and you know, onions. I have onions for a reason. Onions to make burgers. Uh, let's put some of this stuff in here. I'll put some crop waste in there. Get the seeds. Plant the seeds. Put the seeds. It's almost burger time. Like, excellent burgers. Excellent, excellent burgers. That's why I have the onions there. How to make a burger again? Burger, 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 burger. There's plenty of different types of dinners to make. Sandwich, but I want, I want burger. Yeah, you need meat? Onions of varying qualities. And I think there's a 20% chance for those. I don't remember what type of burgers I need to bring to the Inquisitor. I, I don't exactly remember. Oh, it's almost upward facing day. That means I can actually go talk to the Inquisitor, hopefully, and not miss it for the third time in a row. That would be unfortunate. There's nothing I really need to talk to Snake about. Not really. Guess I'll sleep for the evening. Probably running low on sleepy time points. Probably. Probably running low on sleepy time points. I'm so refreshed. I'm glad you are. I love you. You say that every single time. Every single time, refreshment. Every single time. I'm happy for you. I really am. I, I truly am happy for you. For getting such a nice evening rest. Such a nice, wonderful, wonderful rest. Gosh, when I think about, when I think about getting rest, it makes me tired. I'm like, oh man, wouldn't it be nice to be sleeping right now? Like, yeah. But there was much work to be done! A graveyard doesn't keep itself, you know. Or does it? Does it? Alright, well, actually, what I can do is as bodies come in, I can burn them. And I can burn bodies with piles of body, body. Body, 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 body. So I'll collect a bunch of wood, make a bunch of wood billets, set a bunch of bodies on fire. It'll be awesome. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love all these bodies. You're gonna love every single one of these bodies. Like... You're going to be like, bodies? I've never seen a body... I, I don't think I've ever seen a body on fire to the point where I was impressed by it. Well, I'm about to show you that today. You're going to be impressed. You're going to be impressed by this great conflagration. Hold on here. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. 
and you can be there, your parents can be there, your brothers and sisters can be there. It's gonna be great. I mean, hopefully they aren't the ones burning. That's that's what the Inquisitor does if you're a heathen. But I don't think you're heathen, heathens. Are y'all heathens? What god do you pray to? Do you pray to a god? Do you believe in god? What does it matter? What even is god? Is god just our imagination? I don't know. Oh, things taking a turn for the existential again. Dude, what if I was, uh, um, what's the term for people who are, like, always, like, existential? Like, oh, nothing matters because, like, we're all going to die in the end. Existentialism? Or, um, oh, God, I used to remember what it was. Yeah, I'm going to call it ex existentialism. I've done some research on philosophy every once in a while. Mostly when I had jobs that couldn't keep me occupied. This job of mine really keeps me occupied. I don't have time to, like randomly go on wikipedia searches anymore i mean do i have time to yeah absolutely i can do whatever i want at work nobody's really keeping that many times nihilism that was the word it was nihilism you're totally right nice nice fist bump not me punching you in face me attempting to go for a fist bump that's what i was thinking of it's like everything's just, the world's just gonna end man anyway so why does anything matter nothing matters like i guess you're right my friend you're probably right Let's make a bunch of one bullets. All these bullets. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I totally, I totally feel that. I'm a bit of a nihilist sometimes. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, should I work on this thing that I'm working on? No, probably not. I'll, cause like it's not gonna matter. Like, cause it's not gonna matter. Like often, I, I, that's why I feel like I suffer from like motivational issues sometimes. Cause I constantly am questioning things. I'm constantly being like, why? But why not? I, I say too much why and not enough why not. And so that winds up getting me into this, this state where I'm like, I don't want to do this or I'm not going to do this because it's not going to matter. Um, I feel like of all the things that I've done in my life, of all the projects that I've started in my life, if, if I even started them to begin with, I feel like I eventually came to a point where I was like, all right, I'm done with this because I got what I wanted out of it. Or I just never started it because I didn't have the proper motivation. Like for example, projects are so e projects for school are so easy to do because if you don't do them, you fail and you have to stay in school for longer. That's that's not what I want. So naturally, the motivation for doing the project is so that I don't have to stay in school longer because school costs money for college students. And I mean, when I was in high school, I just didn't want to be in school. To be perfectly honest, I just wasn't really into that much. I just didn't want that. Hold on, let me turn off one of these lights back here. I just noticed that my proper lighting setup. I just noticed that I didn't have my proper lighting setup on because I left the one light on for too long. This is the proper lighting setup. That way we can see the really cool, like, dude, the uh, the Christmas tree looks really, really good. It's awesome back there. I had a Christmas tree back there. I got a little, I stole some, I stole some Christmas decorations from home. So I also have this beautiful little Christmas puppy, Christmas puppy inside of the Christmas dog beautiful holiday dog holiday dog and holiday puppy it's not necessarily christmas it's it's holiday agnostic and the dog doesn't want to stay up this time oh yes you do there, there we go very cute very exciting i i really do like i like christmas time i like holiday time i really like holiday time and i really really like holiday time because like I, not because it's cold i don't like the cold it's like a nice excuse to like talk to family see family again this is the most i've seen in my family in a while and that's a good thing i think the other time of the year that i actually see my family like more so than that is is um is when we go on our our vacation but even still i only see like my immediate family not like the extended family i like seeing the extended family too it's, it's a nice thing it's cool i got wood billets billy 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 i don't need this hiccup grass can i eat hiccup grass i really can't so i don't i don't need it get rid of it Take some stuff to the basement. Oh, did I? Oh, I have some more stone repair kits. I should take that. I should take some things downstairs. Okay. I should put beeswax somewhere. Should I put beeswax up here? Sure. Here, take beeswax. Honey? Yeah, sure. Put honey there. Most of the carrots? Sure. Pumpkins there. What did I need? What did I need for the pumpkins? That, oh, what was it for the pumpkins downstairs? I know one of them was crucified skulls on a wall, like, <laughs> crucified skeleton. Like, what? Which we don't know whether that is satanic or otherwise, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Um, let's see. Crucified skeleton on the- crucified skeleton. I need two beams, a pumpkin, and a skull. Well, 
I'm gonna make two crucified skeletons on the wall. So let's go to Sweet Home. We'll take two pumpkins. I've got two skulls downstairs. I need four of those wooden beams. I have four of them already. Excellent. We're making things satanic. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord Satan, you know. Actually, I just started watching... I just started watching a series about tech startups called Silicon Valley uh, because my boss recommended it to me. He showed me... At the beginning of the week, he showed me a Silicon Valley reference and he was like, I would recommend watching Silicon Valley. And I was like, oh, boy! I'm gonna start watching Silicon Valley! And he was like, start at season two. So naturally, being the type of person that I am, being doing the exactly the things that people don't want me to do, I started with season one, like I feel like normal people would do. And I watched the whole thing. And one of our characters is a Satanist. And he's very happy about it. Actually, he's very... I, I don't know if he's happy about it. He doesn't seem like he experiences happiness. The character is Gilfoyle from the comedy show Silicon Valley. He's funny. I think the show is funny. I think, to be perfectly honest, the beginning of the show is a little too... A little too toxically masculine for me. And I don't like to... I, like, in the sense that, like, it's very, like, it's very, like, frat boy vibes. It's very much like, yo, man, we're gonna start a dude, like, women and, like, sex and all stuff like that. And, like, eh, not really into that stuff. It's It just doesn't rub me the right way because of past experiences. But, but, otherwise... I think it's a very relatable show for working at a tech startup. And judging from what my boss had told me too, who's been in the same startup for five years because he owns the company. He's like, yes, very, very relatable. Gotta wonder what the pumpkins are for. I believe it goes on the top of the head. Look at that. Oh, can I not put it there? Wait, why can I? Can I not put it there? Oh, because I'm standing in the way. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm standing in the way. That's that's why. That's why. That's what I gotta do. I mean, I think it would have looked cooler with a skull. Like, with an actual skull. But, alas. We're at nine now. Uh, I can still put up skulls on the wall. Skulls and columns. I need more skulls. Skully, skully, bone bones. Oh my god, it's upward facing day. It's time to go talk to the Inquisitor. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to go talk to him about his habits of burning people of particular ethnicities and demographics. You shouldn't do that, pal. Although, if it makes you happy... No, you shouldn't do that, actually. I, I'll, I'll draw the line there. You, you really shouldn't do that. Hey there! Hey, buddy! Is it still being crucified with, when it, it's an X and not a T? Yeah! I guess. I suppose you don't necessarily need to be crucified on a cross. You could be crucified on an X. Or a pylon. Or a skyscraper. Anything is possible. Now let me check what kind of burgers I need. I need gold star burgers. Oh. Okay, then. But you bring up a very excellent point there. Is it really crucifixion without the cross? I believe some denominations would say... Yes. I suppose so. Now I'm trying to think of like other shapes. Other structures with which you can be crucified on. You can be crucified on a tree. Right? You can be, you can like, you can stand like this instead, pencil style. Well, actually, I guess, well, I guess that, um, that that's how Jesus was crucified, actually. He was, he was standing. He was standing in pencil dive pose. He just happened to be on a actually, actually, I think it depends. I've seen, actually, I've seen it both ways. I have seen both crucifixion style where Jesus's hands are out like this, and I've seen it where his hands are up like this, and his head is down like this. Like, I'm now really curious. Like, did would they usually do arms outstretched, or would they do it over top of the head? Like, does it help? What's the science behind it? I don't know. Let's ask the Inquisitor. Can I ask you to release a gypsy woman and perhaps tell me about how Jesus was crucified? Was it like this or was it like pencil style or like cross cross style? It is not in my rules to release someone. But this time, I'll make an exception. Our friends have been making too much of a ruckus outside my headquarters. Oh, my goodness. I released you. Nice. Now I can talk to the gypsy baron. Thank you, Sir Inquisitor. 
I appreciate you. So let's go talk to the Gypsy Baron about his sister. And I think, why was I talking to the Gypsy Baron to begin with? I think this has to do with the necklace. I think this has to do with snake stuff. Progress! I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it happen. Excuse me. Let's go talk to the Gypsy Baron. Let's go talk to the Gypsy Baron. Let's go talk to the Gypsy Baron. Hey, pal. Um, so speaking of your sister, she's not dead. Thank God! Your friend is free! Oh, friend? I thought it was your sister. Oh, excuse me. I talked to the Lord Inquisitor. Your friend is free. I was right. He is your friend. So you're an important man around here. So tell me about Esmeralda. Where is your sister? Oh. Probably she's far, far away. They put her on the ship of the dead many years ago. But she had a child, didn't she? Yes, a daughter. Once she was a blessing to me, but now she is my shame. So she's alive. Yes, she's alive, but she betrayed her own people. She even betrayed the memory of her mother. What did she do? She sold her mother's last gift, disowned her legacy, and for what? For lust, for impertinence in the town. She's known as Miss Charm. We haven't spoken her real name for many years. Oh. Should I... Should I take this as an opportunity to talk to Miss Charm? I feel... I feel... That I should take this as an opportunity... Excuse me. To... Talk to Miss Charm about this. Unless there is something else going on. Help Snake with his ritual. Yeah, I got that. Try to find out what the Gypsy Baron knows about Esmeralda and her child. Oh, you know! The Astrologer wants to know about that. <gasps> Another body's come! Oh, I can get more blood and skulls. Skulls for the skull throne. Blood for the blood fountain. It's a lot of blood that we need, though. It's like 10 blood. Like 10 drops of blood. Like, that's a lot of blood. I put you on the table and I do some stuff. I take some blood out of you. Yummy, yum, yum. I'll remove the blood from you. I'll remove the meat from you. I'm gonna remove your skull from you. I'm gonna remove your fat from you because, like, you need all that stuff. Man, I love this whole philosophy of using all the parts of the body. I can even use your skin. Oh my goodness. God, we are using every part of the bison here, fellas. Every part of the bison. If you can call these bodies bisons, which you really cannot. You really, you really can't. These are not... No. Oh, I don't have any food on me. How about these stories? Let me go, let me go real quick. Put these stories away. Let me go put these stories away in the proper place. Maybe get some food from upstairs. Get some more cutlets. Cutlet, 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 cutlet. <laughs> Get some more cutlets. Wonderful. Now I can eat. Now I can eat and be merry. Oh, I have all the cutlets now. I was not intending for that to be the case. However, I can work with this, right? I have some excess hardware that I can put back up here. Like... Like flitches, dowels, scrap. I have a lot of scrap. Let's turn this scrap into some iron. Scrap and iron? Scrap and iron? Scrap and iron? Yeah, scrap and iron. Alrighty then. Love to see that. Then I can go back over to my bodies. Gotta go back over to my bodies. It's an excellent, excellent thing. I gotta say... Going back to talking on the cocktail real quick. The Rule Britannia. The Rule Britannia cocktail. I don't think I have ever had a drink so far that was this good at balancing the bitterness. Like, honestly, it's it's rather simple. It's just the grapefruit. It's the grapefruit juice. It's the, uh, it's the grapefruit juice. It's the Campari, which is the bitter. Um, the blue curacao, which like filtered in afterwards and then vodka and it's really it's i think it's balanced it's balanced for my palate i'm a big fan of that i like i'm really 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 into that wow like extremely actually before before i 
before I finish the thing off, I gotta take a quick picture of this real quick. So I can put it on my Recipe Keeper app. The place where I keep my recipes. The thing that I will hopefully decompile and learn for myself one day. But not today. And I'm like, I'm really, I'm really happy about this one. Came out well. Nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can't, like, I can't, like, pat myself on the back for anything or anything because it's not like I made this myself, but... I have made some cocktails, actually. Like, um, one of the ones... So, there's actually... There's this website that I'm a part of, and I made an account on it a while ago, and I actually turned it into... I made a creator profile on there, and I haven't posted anything on it yet, um, but it's a website called Crafted Pour, and they actually sent me... A, actually, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on one second. I'll be back in just a second. I think I actually have... They sent me a hat. I'm gonna go find that hat. Hold on one second. I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna go find the hat. I'm excited about this. It was so incredibly cool. So I think, I don't know if it's anybody who had an, a, a creator page, or I don't know if it was anybody who had an account in general, but they sent out hats. And I got a hat. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. They also sent, they also sent stickers too. And I was like, oh my goodness. I kind of, I kind of like hats. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to keep wearing that hat. I'm going to go with the backward hat. I'm going to go with the backward hat for the rest of the stream. That's what I'm going to go with. Crafted poor represent but so but so um i made an account on it and they've got like a tips page on there you can put like a little biography up there a couple of photos and you can more importantly you can put up your recipes on there and i, I would be perfectly honest i would feel bad putting a recipe up there that wasn't like completely my own and granted it's not like it's really difficult to make something like supremely supremely unique like, it's really, it's really difficult to make something supremely, supremely unique. Like, usually, your thing is going to be a derivative of somebody else's. So, one of the things that I made, like, a cocktail that's been in my mind for a while was, it was a Hemingway daiquiri, but I swapped out one ingredient. So, technically, that's a different drink, or it's a spin on the drink. And technically, something like that, I'd be like, eh, I don't know if I want to put that up there, because it's not technically mine. It's not technically anybody's, I don't think. I, I don't know if the Hemingway daiquiri in particular has a particularly traceable, like, history line. But, you know, needless to say, maybe I would put it up on there. Because, like, potentially, somebody could potentially come on and be like, yo, I really like your cocktail. Like, I can't believe you created this. Like, I'd give credit where credit is due. In the description, I'd be like, yo, this actually came from something else. Like, it's not totally my work. But, you know, it, it's, it's cool. It's really cool stuff like that. And another one that I'm particularly proud of, like, I, I'm, I'm proud of now, it still needs to be workshopped a little bit, is actually a sake cocktail. My, my fiance likes sake. I think if she had to pick a particular spirit, she would probably go with sake. She, it, she likes the taste of it. It's, it's rather mild on the alcohol. It doesn't really taste super, super alcohol -y and totally respectable. Everybody's got their flavor palette. Whoa. What the? What the heck just happened? Oh. Anna, what did you do? Uh, what the heck? What has happened there? Anna, what did you do there? I saw you time out Lorelai. What'd you... You removed all of them. How did you do that? I must revoke power from Anna. Oh my goodness. I must revoke power from you. The power has gone to your head. In any case... Um, what is it you're saying? You were saying before, it's kind of like a reverse pour. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like a reverse pour. It was cool. You touched the button on the screen while switching. It's okay. It was probably an honest mistake. 82 messages just gone. Oh my god. I don't know if there's a way to undo that. It's okay. It's great because all the streams are backed up, so they're all on there. They will never be they will never be forgotten. You will never be forgotten. <laughs> I've been bonked again like bro's stream bot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lycos's stream bot is so Oh my god, it's so freaking funny. Uh to, for context on this, my buddy Lycos Lore, who's also who also does stream and content as well, has a Streamlabs bot and his has like a point system and you can redeem those points but i think for some reason he accidentally started everybody with like a certain like big number of points and so we were able to completely span like you redeem channel points here to make me exercise that's the thing that happens around here we did it over there for these like 
the, these like bot points, these streamlab points. And we spammed him with, with, with like workouts and stuff like that during, I think it was like a Kingdom Hearts stream or whatever. It was, oh my God, I was having a whale of a time. I was really, really enjoying myself here. Granted, granted, was I taking advantage of a situation that wasn't set up very well? Not by his fault, obviously. Yes, I was most definitely taking advantage of that. But like, <laughs> wow, so I was like, <laughs> it was really funny. I've had to tweak things a couple times on this side too, just because like some things, some things just ain't very balanced. Some things ain't balanced at all, but we work on that. Oh, can I not put any more? Oh, I can put skulls down here too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Skullduggery. Um, it is now, oh, I guess I should go talk to the astrologer real quick. But lest I forget, lest I forget. I found something about Esmeralda, about Esmeralda's child. Esmeralda had a daughter. My daughter. Where are they now? Esmeralda died many years ago, but her daughter is alive and well. I think you might even have heard of her. Her name is Miss Charm. Unbelievable. She's very talented. I saw her perform once. Oh, oh dear. I'm sad now. Oh, I'm afraid she'll never accept me. I left her mother before she was born, but I didn't know. How could I know that my seed had brought about life to this world? I knew that it would break Esmeralda's heart, but it was all in the name of science. What a fool I am. What a fool we all are to science. Young man, you must test these waters for me. Speak with her, find out what my chances are. Do you, do you promise to tell me where the the, uh, the where the uh, do you promise to tell me where the uh, golden angle is if I can reunite you with your daughter? Definitely, I'll be so happy. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. So I guess on downward facing day, we'll talk to Miss Charm. Back to sweet home. I think some bodies are done being cooked up. Very happy to hear about that. And another body just came in. Oh, man, we are just rolling. We're rolling in the bodies this time. Brother. Look at all this shit. Oh, and we get burial certificates for it, too. So, honestly, there is literally no cons. There are literally no cons for this. This is, this is awesome. This is a good setup. We like this. We like the bodies. We like the bodies. We like the bodies. What do we got on here? Autopsy. Yeah, I don't even care about... I'm not worrying about the... I'm not worrying about the church right now. Instead, I am worrying about everything else. I don't exactly... Currently, in order to unlock the portal, you need a certain subset of items, and I know the golden angle is one of them. So that's why I'm prioritizing the astrologer. Um, I know the necklace, I believe, is another one, which is why I'm prioritizing Snake and all of his stuff. So I don't, I don't exactly know yet if the church has a direct benefit for me in terms of getting to the end of the game. I'll admit, what I'm attempting to do now is I'm trying, trying to streamline getting to the end of the game because I want to be able to, like, like put a cap on the series so I can play something else because I have been playing it for quite a while. Not like I'm trying to, I'm not trying to rush through things or anything. If I was trying to rush through, I would be literally looking everything up along the way. And then it's just, that's really not what I'm about. Really, I really don't like doing that if I, if, if I can it feels less organic that way and i feel i feel like for the most part 90 percent of the time the game gives you exactly what you need to to continue with it it's it's it doesn't give you like the instructions specifically but there's a lot to the game to discover and i think that's awesome that's great also i just i just noticed something yellow came out of that pile something yellow definitely came out of that pile and I did not receive anything yellow. I think that's just ash. I think there might be a glitch, a glitch with the... Whichever sprite is there. Maybe. I, I don't... I don't know. Something about that... Something about this is odd. I don't know. Honestly, not super worried about it. Got burial certificates now. I can sell that for money. And I needed money for what? I needed money for frogs. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I needed money for frogs. Okay, 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 okay. I have burial certificates. I can go sell that at the barn. But I need more wood because I got more bodies coming in, and that's good. But first, um, I got salt. I've got ash. I got great things for alchemy. It's 
Uh, life is good, guys. Life is good. Every once in a I, I, I will say, no matter what winds up happening, every once in a while, I come to these points where I'm like, you know, life is really, really good. And I'm happy, I'm happy that I can say that. And unfortunately, there are not, there are people out there who can't say the same. And if there's anything I can do for the help with that, for example, donating money to people without homes. Shameless plug. Not for myself, of course. I don't need the money. I have a job now. But of course, if you want to buy me dinner, that is so very kind of you. I will never say no. An avocado for your efforts. I actually have avocados on the free, on the, the counter over there. I cannot wait to consume those avocados. I am... Oh, I'm coming for you, Shabakadoos. Oh, I'm coming. But so, like, I had a moment. I had a moment like that today. And so, before stream started, I came. I came back from work, and I told myself I'm gonna make sure I get my angles all set up, make sure that the camera is working okay because it's a new camera, and making sure everything looks pretty good with the whole lights and whatnot in the background. I actually just put up these blue lights this morning. I was like, oh my god, I have blue icicles. You know, they don't really look like. like like, they don't really look like icicles back there. But, like, it's blue, and it's my favorite color. And they're also, like, you probably can't tell on camera, but they're blinking in such a rate that I can see them, like, like flashing. Like, you ever you ever look at a light that looks like it's flashing? It's because of, the, it's because of like, switching frequency and stuff. Like it, it switches. If it's not switching it fast enough, it'll look like it's almost blinking and flashing at you. Which can be annoying for a lot of people and potentially induce epileptic seizures. But lucky for you guys, uh, this camera captures at only 60, 60 FPS, and I think we're streaming at 50 FP, uh, FPS. So I don't think, I don't think there will be any epilepsy warning necessary for those things back there. I think we're just fine. I think we'll be all right. However, however, as with all things, I am not perfect in my observations. If anybody notices anything differently, please let me know. I don't. I don't want anybody getting hurt. If anybody gets hurt, I, I would I would take personal responsibility for that. I feel like I feel like like I don't know. I don't know. I, I I would feel bad. I'd feel bad. I feel like some people would be like, well it's not my problem. I didn't kill them. I didn't hurt them. But like, maybe you did. There are some things like like there are some things that you can say that like personally offend people in some way. And like within reason, I think we should be conscientious of that. Within reason. Uh, don't get me wrong. If you are personally offended by the blue lights in the background, I don't think we'll be able to find a middle ground on that. I'm sorry. I like the color blue. It's my favorite color, and it's not to any detriment of you. So if that's how you feel, I am sorry, but it is not changing. Those lights actually can't change colors. They can't change. This light can change colors. Yo! Yo, speaking of which, here's some more camera fun time. This camera can now pick up the differences, like the really awesome differences in color. So now we can, oh, oh, maybe, maybe this should be a seizure warning. I'm about to make some flashing colors. So warning, but look at this. I can make things different colors and I can make things, actually, I'm not gonna flash them that fast, but like it can be all different colors. And I think that is so freaking cool. Cause it looks, I think, I think the contrast is like just enough on this camera now where it actually becomes like noticeable. And I think it looks really, like I'm really happy. Like I think it looks really, really good. And now we can party just like the party parrot. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just had an idea. I just had an idea. What if, what if there were a way, oh my God, this would be so cool. What if there were a way for me to um, set it up so that when a when a follow alert comes through, when the party parrot pops on the screen, it actually like cycles through the lights. Oh my god, that's a really good. <sighs> I gotta write that down. Oh my god, that's such a good idea. I love that idea. Oh my goodness, the posted the, the, the note cards coming out again. We're writing down ideas. Oh my god, I feel totally reinvigorated again. Uh, color shift upon party parrot. Is that a thing? That'd be so cool! Can it do that? I have no idea! But I want it to, because this this light of mine is a smart light, so it functions via an app called LIFIX. L-I-F-X. L is in Larry, I is in Ink, N is in Nancy, K is in 
K is in cancer with a K. I don't know. I'm blanking on that. K, K is in... God, what word starts with K? K is in kaleidoscope. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long for that. But like, so currently, the way... The, so the way that the effects currently work... The way that things currently work is... Um, actually, so... When something happens, when somebody hosts the stream, when somebody follows, when somebody uh, when somebody subs, it can play an animation. That's through a website called Streamlabs. My notifications are set up with Streamlabs. I know there's also stream elements too, but I use Streamlabs. It's just what I started with. It's what it works. So what I can also do too is the things that control my chatbot, the thing that says, hey, somebody just redeemed channel points, or hey, if you put exclamation thank miss, then it'll drop the link to the donation link in the in the campaign page. That's controlled by a bot that I have, a, a, a something running on my computer that's watching chat for certain things and parsing things as they come along to be like, hey, if you say exclamation point YouTube, I'm going to drop Cameron's YouTube in, in the chat and do things like that. Or, hey, if you redeem consume, I'm going to put a message in chat that says, yo, Cameron, suck on that water or whatever drink that you have. And so... This thing that I use called Cruise Control, Cruise with a K and a Z, oddly enough, can do AP like can, can do API calls. And an API is it's just a three-letter acronym for application programming interface. Literally all that is is like if I if I am a program and you are somebody who works a job, let's say you're a librarian, but you give me information when I ask you for it. If I say, hey, librarian, I want you to tell me the answer to a question. But it's a well-defined question. It is a question that, like, I will ask it in the same way every single time. For example, show me the color blue. And you will say, this is the color blue. That's the color blue. I can be like, show me the color black. And you're like, this is the color black. Or show me the color, like, off gray. The color off gray or black. If I say, show me what color blue is, you might be like, yo, 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 I don't know what your query is. You gotta say, show me the color and then X and I will understand you. And essentially, that type of way to make responses, that type of way to communicate with some sort of like other program happening is called an API, basically. It's one one program making calls to another program. So my my program, I didn't make it myself. It's by some dude named, I don't remember, but it's Cruise Control with a K and a Z. They made this. And so it can respond to things like that and it can make API calls. So I, being that my light works on an app, there may be an API out there that will allow the program that's running for chat to communicate with the with the with the uh, with the um, the actual light over here. I think it's I think it's very possible. I need to look into it, or maybe even code something up myself, which I think I'd be able to do. It depends on whether they have public APIs for that. And I have seen this is it's not the first time that somebody on Twitch has been like, oh, I bet I can make chat control my lights. Like, that's a thing out there. That is most definitely a thing that somebody else has done already. But like, I want to do it too. That sounds so cool. Very cool if we could work it out. Oh, for sure. Things like that, like, really, really, really excite me. And that's because like, so like, it kind of goes back, it kind of goes back to the whole thing like I was mentioning before. We're like, if I don't have, like, I find it hard, really, really hard to find the motivation to do things sometimes. And something like that, I'm like, who gains anything from that? Like, like, if it was just me, I would think, I'm not really gonna gain anything from that. It would be really cool, but like, eh, is it really worth the effort? But like, I feel like somebody else might come along and be like, yo, that is really, really cool. Teach me how you did that. I want to be able to do this for like my stream too. And I could be like, yo, let me show you how I did it so I can share the wonderful world of all the stuff that goes on so that you can also be aware too. Um... It was super duper cool. I've been like, I, I've, I've personally have a philosophy of that we, uh, so to speak, we stand upon the shoulders of giants, which is a really fancy way of saying like, we are nothing without the people that came before us. The people who came before us being the giants could be family members, could be past Nobel Peace Prize winners or people who created certain technologies. And I feel like I don't do those giants justice if i don't continue to, to, to try to be a giant myself so to speak in, in the whole analogy of it all like if you give me information and i'm like oh my god thank you so much for the information like if i'm not able to pass it on to somebody else and continue that kind of pay it forward thing then i feel like i've completely like i don't know the information will die off with me 
which makes me sad. Like, somebody else can totally benefit from this. And, and if, if, if I can, bring, you know, if I can wind up bringing that to people and make people more aware of it and even coach them through it too, like, oh my God, I love the fact that you do this. How do you do that? Then I'd be like, oh, please, let me answer your question because I want to be able to make sure that you can do it too and even walk you through it if necessary. Because that, like, I think, I think that is such a cool thing. I think it's one of the coolest things to find something like to find something and do something with it and to be able to pass it off to somebody else and see them also to, to see what they do with it like i think that is an awesome thing that's what i'm really i'm into like op, like i like open source movements like with code and stuff like that because here is my code take with it what you do and make it your own do something with it i love that i really really love that or here's a recipe here's a cocktail recipe that i found on the internet i'm gonna take this or i made it i want to give it to you so that you can try it yourself make some spins on it make some riffs like that is such a cool thing to do i love that i love that idea and if i can do that and and like make that information available then awesome awesome that'd be super duper cool i um god i just had a I had a thought too. I mean, even even like way before, like before I really like before I was streaming for like longer than any particular moment of time, like I'd find like creators on TikTok and I still do. I find people like like folks, content creators being like, hey, I've got some tips for you on stream. And I found some a couple of cool things from stuff like stuff like that. Um, even how to be able to do like the chatbot thing from before. Like I saw somebody, I, I might have seen somebody mention it or I might have seen um, either somebody mentioned it and I looked it up, or I was like, hey, I kind of want to do this. Who's got a recommendation? And one person, and I think I found it on Reddit, actually. Somebody posted on Reddit, like, hey, I use this. Maybe you would benefit from it. And I was like, you know what? Let's give that a shot. And yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool stuff like that. Really, really, really like that. Making a difference in the world around us. Oh, you know what I should do? I uh, should have go, should have purchased some frogs. Oh, I couldn't have purchased frogs. I needed to sell this first. There we go. Sell the froggies. Miss Charm, I have some questions. No more questions. Oh, about your father. Oh, okay. So I need to get you the perfume first in order to ask you about your father. <laughs> Indeed. All right. So I guess I'll head back to the home, sweet home. I know, I believe she needs how many frogs how many frogs did you need miss chain miss chain miss chain how many frogs do you need miss chain beloved wife of the tavern keeper okay maybe you don't need that many frogs right now maybe i need to go talk to you again do i need to go back to i'm confused now anyway I, I know she needed frogs so i'm gonna go back and get frogs i'm gonna go forth and do that i'm definitely going to but um definitely like I, I think what I want to do someday is I want to create some more like hey there person who does stuff that I also do that I that we both enjoy here's something that might benefit you and do some of those instructional videos on my own maybe I would definitely love to do one for cruise control because I am so happy that this this thing exists because it's it's a chatbot that like I can create custom commands for it I know how to do it it could do a lot of really really amazing things and I'm really really thankful for it and if I can share that with other people who would also be thankful for it, then wonderful. I love it. It'd be, really, it'd be super duper awesome, awesome, wonderful. If we can. If I can do something like that. And now, you know, really, sky, sky's the limit. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I feel like I hadn't done stuff like that in a while because... I was not very happy with the quality of things. I felt like my quality could be better. I'll admit, like, some things, like, kind of discourage me. For example, like, when I, like, for example, I'll give a very, very good example. This full screen view, I hated before because things weren't crisp, things weren't, things looked very blurry from, from, uh, from my perspective, my perspective. Nobody had said, nobody had come up to me and said, by the way, when you put your face on full screen, it's blurry, and that that's detracting from things. Nobody said that to me. I, I, only only me said that. I, when I review things and I think about how things were and how things could be, I'm like, you know, that kind of bothers me. And so that got me that got my head down this path of, well, I guess my excuse for not doing more 
is because I'm being held back by the fact that I don't have a really good camera for it. Um, and granted, none of that, none of that is necessary. None of this is necessary. Like, at all. I was have. I'm still, I had so much fun with it. Still had so much fun with it, despite even, even before this new revelation of new technology. That, granted, if you don't have the money for this, don't worry about it. If somebody can lend it to you and, like, let you have this and use it, like, maybe you rent it for them. Maybe you just borrow from them. I'm currently borrowing this from my parents. And what I plan on doing is buying them a better camera in return. Because I want to be either return this to them or get something to pay them back for it. So I would love to be able to do that. But so I had gotten into this state of mind where I was like, mm, I, I, I don't want to do more until I have better quality here. Because, to be perfectly honest... Cocktails didn't look very good. I didn't think sometimes when the full screen stuff didn't go different. Like I felt, I felt like I really like, I really like. The, I'm rather confident in the way of my appearance and stuff like that. So if it doesn't, I, I feel like if the camera is like adding ten pounds per se, I don't like the camera. Get a different. If the camera that you have is adding ten pounds in a way that you're not comfortable with, get a different camera. Try something different. You don't have to upgrade, but like side grade, like move to the side, so to speak. Maybe you'll find something better, or you could always compromise by like, for example, never, you could make your, you could live in this little box, box over here. The quality never matters, because like, people can't tell the quality, because you're only streaming in sub HD. So that doesn't wind up getting to the stream. But like, sometimes it really, really matters to some people. And to be fair, like, uh, when I had, when I had my pal Christina over, she was like, you shouldn't worry about that stuff like you look great it's not detracting from anything so you really shouldn't worry about it and i was like you're right but like i for one am the kind of person that i feel like i have really really high standards for myself i feel like if i'm not meeting my own expectations then i am falling short and i don't want to fall short and i don't want to fail myself i mean it goes back to the whole motivation thing goes back to the whole self-confidence thing so it goes back to the whole like am i even good how could i be good enough for somebody else if i'm not even good enough for myself half the time and so i was like i came to the conclusion where i was like before i do another cocktail stream i want to get better angles before i stream tabletop games with my fiance on the act on an actual table i want better camera angles something that i can actually be really really proud of and a better o overlay and stuff like that and oh my goodness baby baby steps all the time baby baby steps after every once in a while there's a big step there's a big step that gets made i think from from my point of view i think this is a really awesome upgrade and i personally feel that like i would be able to do i'd be able to do so much more with it i feel like there was so much i was not able to do i couldn't i couldn't stick a grapefruit up to the camera and be like look at this grapefruit which is currently in the darkness because i changed up my lighting a little bit like look at this grapefruit that's so awesome. It's a nice grapefruit. It's a nice grapefruit. I think it looks good. And I'm proud of that grapefruit. Excuse me. Like, I couldn't do that before. And personally, personally, I love to do wacky stuff like that. I like the fact that I could just be like, oh my goodness, this penguin, where's the penguin coming from? And it looked kind of cool. I got a lot of shit on my desk. And it means nothing if I can't Honestly, I, I'm a very materialistic person, and it means absolutely nothing if I can't show it off to people. <laughs> like, it, like, I mean, granted, a lot of the belongings that I have absolutely do me benefit. But oftentimes, like, if I can't share it with somebody, what's what's the point of it? Like, 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 like I almost think if I were to ever make art or poetry or something that is creative in any way, shape, or form... What is the point of it, in my opinion? Like, like I th this question is mostly for me. Like, what is the point of me doing stuff like that if I can't share it with anybody? And honestly, I went through a period of my life uh, working for another job of mine where I was like, why am I doing stuff for this company? It's proprietary. I'm under an NDA. I can't share this with people. I can't share what I do with people. Like, what the... F what is the point of doing all this? I can't share it with anybody except for my coworkers who don't even care anyway. Previous job. Not this job. This job, people care. I'm very happy about that. And I can share it with people, for the most part. I can... I can speak of it in a way that isn't breaking any rules. But I was like... Like, if I can't share it with people, what the heck is the point of it all? Do... do does anybody gain anything from this? Because I feel like I would be gaining more if I could share it with the world. 
And so one of the things I did after, uh, after graduating college and towards the end of my senior year is I started putting most of my projects that I had worked on in college up on, um, up on GitHub, which is like, you could put code publicly up on there for like a lot of my, like a lot of classes and stuff like that. I wanted to put my projects up there. I want people to be able to springboard from them. I want people to be able to be helped out by them. If my, personally, I know some people for like, are very, very particular about like back test, like backlog tests and whatnot. But in my opinion, if the test that I took is going to help you study for your test, I don't see anything wrong with that. Granted, if you are using it because you're trying to cheat, for example, the test is the exact same, well, personally, in my opinion, that is not something that I need to worry about. That is something that the professor needs to worry about. That is something that the teacher needs to worry about. If people are able to cheat on your test, if I were a teacher, if I were a teacher, this would be my philosophy. If people are able to cheat on my test because I'm using the same questions every single time, that's my problem. Me as the teacher. That is not my student's problem. I have allowed, if, so, if I had students that took it upon themselves to figure out how to do well on the test, the name of the game is doing well on the test. How do you do well on the test? You will do anything that you can to do well on the test. So if the way to do well on the test is to look at the test that came before, which is usually readily available, this is not the first time the professor or teacher has taught the class, then why not use that as a resource? to be able to do well. Granted, if you don't learn anything from it and you don't absorb absolutely anything at all, then, you know, maybe you need to think, work, rethink what works best for you because you're not absorbing anything from it. What do you gain from that? Not a lot. But hey, you came out with a degree in the end, so maybe that's okay. But like, personally, I am more than happy to allow you to like take a look take a look at what I did so that you can so that you can learn from it for that somebody else can learn from it granted granted if you were to ask me directly hey can you do this test for me can you do my homework assignment for me i would be like no sorry not going to do that but i will happily try to walk you through the problem try to try to make things work for you try to do what i can to make sure that you understand things for yourself because i think that's a whole hell of a lot more important to be able to do something to, to be able to do that i mean in my opinion isn't it i think it's a lot cooler to be able to do things on your own in a self-sufficient manner than to completely rely on other people but then again i'm a very i'm a very like in the attempting to be independent individual and i am very dependent at times i'm constantly asking my superiors at work hey what should i do next should i work on this today what should be my priorities and, and to be fair to be fair they're like you should start to get to that. I think you're getting to the point where you'll be able to decide for yourself. So how about you tell me what your priorities are? And then if it needs tweaking, you know, I'll let you know. And I was like, all right, that'll, that'll work out for me. I'm cool with that. And so that's, that's, uh, that's where we're at right now. I think I've become a little more independent with stuff like that. I've always wanted to be independent with that stuff. And, you know, it's a, it's a learning curve. It's a, it's a pretty steep learning curve. You'll, uh, with enough time, you'll get there. No matter what it is that you're working on. I personally felt like I knew super, super intimidated first going into this job of mine. And I was like, wow, I feel like I know absolutely nothing. And to this day, I know I know nothing because how can you ever know everything? Or even a significant amount of information that's out there because there's an infinite amount of information out there. Like, come on. Let me buy your frogs. You only have two frogs. Perfect. I will take all of them finish and can i buy a recipe from you today oh okay please please recipe recipe i want to learn a recipe there must be a better way to get recipes create blue paint i didn't need that i know how to make blue paints i guess i should have made more i want to go back into the city dead horse go talk to the people is is yeah needless to say with all of what i just vamped about uh if you ever need help on your calculus work, mathematics, or science, I'm really good at that stuff. If you need help programming, I'm happy. My DMs are open. If I can help, let me know. I specialize in Java, C, plus, uh, C. I specialize in Java, C, Python, and MATLAB. But nobody uses MATLAB, so don't worry about MATLAB. Talk to my husband. He's in charge here. Give the frogs. I give you the frogs. Oh, that's it. The food has been delivered. 
Okay, take the perfume. Give me the perfume. Wonderful! I can't wait to talk to Miss Charm yesterday. Guess I'll have to wait another week. Guess I gotta wait. Okie dokie, artichokey. It is merchant day. What else were we working on for the merchants? Nothing yet. I need to sell crates. I still don't even know how to create crates. I don't know how to build an elevator yet. How do I make an elevator? Build pallet. Pallets. Maybe I just need more pallets. I'm going to go back and grab some flitches. And then I'll be back. I'll go grab some flitches. I'll, ma I'll make some flitches. Here, we'll make a bunch of flitches. And all the flitches. All the flitches you could possibly ask for. And what will we do with this? Pallets. Pallets, my friends. Pallets. I don't know why this came to mind, but all I can think of right now was the one like, was it Intel? Like Intel conference? Where they were up there and be like, developers, 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 developers. And they got really excited about stuff. And it was a bunch of like dudes in like button down shirts being like up there during the conference. Like it was, there was some, vi there was some vicari, there was some vicarious like, like embarrassment going on there. Secondhand embar embarrassment going on there. I'm gonna be honest. I, I sometimes feel that. I I'm getting better at it. I don't feel a lot of secondhand embarrassment anymore for some things. Alright, how the freak do I build an elevator? I don't know how to put crates on here. I need to know how to build an elevator. Maybe I need permits for that. Do I need a permit? Maybe. I have to go to the blueprint over here. How much blood do I have? I got four blood. Needs more blood. Elevator? Elevator, elevator, elevator. Elevator, elevator, elevator. Nope. Still don't know how to make an elevator. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I think there's a body downstairs. Is there a body downstairs? I think there's a body down here. Can I research anything in my inventory? I got a lot of faith. Nothing to use it on. Oh, bees! We must study bees in the natural habitat. Bees, they can be composed into powder and fluid. Wow, that was a lot. Let's turn one of you bees. Oh, I only have one bee. Oh, I have two. Okay, life powder. Cool. Or order solution. Oh, wow, I got four from that. Oh, because I have the perk, right? Yeah. Oh, I can still steal beeswax? Oh, that was slowing solution. I know that. And fluid. And I put that down here, I believe, right? So I'll probably get order order powder. Order powder. Nice. I got four of it. Wow, that's a lot. Woo! A baby. Oh, baby, we got it. I like to do a little, do a little alchemy. Let's let's try it, right? Let's do a little, do, do a little alchemy. Let's try. Um, oh, I can actually use spices. Oh, can I do like compound stuff? Let's do spices. And I'm trying to save up blood right now, so I'll I'll nix on the blood. Spices and oil. Let's try it. What do we do? Goo of life. Bees are living order? I believe they are. The embodiment of order. Well, I mean like hex, hex, um, hexagons in the honeycomb. That's pretty orderly. I believe that. Actually, let's make some more spices because apparently I can do more alchemy with spices. So order, it was a goo of, goo of life. It was the yellow one. I'm pretty sure it was the yellow one. Um, although that might honestly be wrong there, but let's, let's give it a shot. Let's do some, um, spices, spices and goo of life. No spices and da 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 Life. Life solution. Let's see. Does it do anything? Maybe? Alright, ash goo. Ash and goo. Okay, how about we try spice and Well, I guess that's not really gonna work. That's giving me the recipes that you do with life solution. Oh well actually that does give me keys about okay, ash and um order solution, right? Life solution. Ash and life. Let's see what that does. Hey! Oh my god, we made Growth Enhancer! Oh my god, we did it! Wait a minute, that's Growth Enhancer! That's for the- I can make- I can make, uh, that was it! Oh my god! I can make quality fertilizer now! 
Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh my god. Perfect. We're getting zombies, dude. We're getting zombies that do stuff. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god. See, I'm gonna back up for a second. Steroids acquired! Hell yeah! This is why... I'm gonna take a step back for a moment. This is why... This is one of the reasons why... I really, really don't like looking things up. Goo is love. Goo is life. Because, because that feeling of like, ooh, I got it, is so satisfying. I am like, what's my heart rate at? Oh my God, what's my Fitbit say my heart rate's at? Fitbit, what's my heart rate? 75. The blood is pumping. The blood is pumping. I feel good. Okay, uh, but I still need fertilizer, and for that, I need shit. I need literal compost. And I need, I think I have... How much do I have? I have five girth enhancers, so I need 50... 50 shit bags. 50 bags of shit. 50 bags of shit. Don't need too many pumpkins for that. Alright, let's go... I only... What? Oh, I can't put it in my inventory. Oh! La, 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 la. Let's put some dowels in there. I'm gonna need dowels. Give me 50 of your finest compost. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Time to go downstairs and put it all together. I'm gonna make some fertilizer. And then, and then, I can actually have the zombie do zombie like things. Yay! Excellent. Very, very excellent. Tomorrow is Upward Facing Day. Do I need to talk to the Inquisitor about anything? I don't think I do. I'm unsure as of yet. Let's put the frog in here. Let's put some goo. Where was I keeping the goo at? Goo goes up here, right? The goo, the goo, the goo, the goo, the goo. Because of the wonderful things he goos. I'm going to put this down here. The wonderful wizard of goo. Now, let us create fertilizer. I am so incredibly happy about that. Wow. Wow's a weezer. Gotta eat some carrots. That was really, really cool. That was good. That was good. All right. So now, this is the power of automation. So long as I can fuel it with fertilizer, then I should be able to have the zombies, like, make grapes for me. I think that's how that works. Although I, I haven't done zombies before. I mean, I have... They've been on the menu for a while. Those zombies have been on the menu. We've been we've been looking into zombie technology. However, not super, not all there yet. Not all there just yet. Let's try. I can also harvest some of these grapes. And I had four things growing. That's excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You like to see that happen? I like to see that happen. It has a lot of grapes. See, this. This is my this is my way to do money. I, I wonder if I can sell wine in crates. That makes sense. Okay, before I do that though, before I put all the seeds down there, so I know. Oh, I can. This is the upgrade. Oh, oh, this is the upgrade. You need to halt any other crafts to begin this one. All right. Okay. Um, game, you okay? I click the X button. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now upgrade. And for this, I need quality fertilizer too. Have I researched that? Can I research that? Quality fertilizer too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got that. My battery is running low. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, dear me. Huh. I actually have I have my my surface down here plugged into a USB charger for power purposes, and apparently it's running out of battery. I need to plug in my computer. Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Oh my god. Oh my god, hi mom! Ma, yo mom! Check out the camera! It looks really good, thank you so much for letting me use this! You and dad both, it's great! And of course, as we all know, when mothers come online, we need we need a party horn. Where's the party horn? The party horn's down here. I wonder how the party horns look in HD! <laughs> I am really happy with that. I am so incredibly happy with that. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Let's try to turn my surface onto better battery mode. 
Hopefully it does not run out of energy. It's actually on the fast charging port of this little USB thing that I have, so I don't know why it's running out of batteries, but... You are too funny. You are too flattering, dear mother who birthed me into this world. Thank you again for that. I'm really enjoying this thing that we call life. It's, it's fun. It's fun. It's nice. It's wonderful. I need more fertilizer. How do I make more fertilizer? Literal. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, fertilizer. Church workbench. Church workbench. Church, church, Kurt works in a... Anyway. Um, so... I need more grape seeds. I do not have enough grape seeds to be able to automate the process. Hmm. Okay. Well, I am going to leave fertilizer over here to use next time. Next time we plant more grapes. That'll be good. Alright. I'll see you... Excuse me. I'll see you wine plants on the flip side. On the flippity flop side. Flippity flop. <laughs> and that's how we talk on the flip side like that one character from the wild thornberries the son the young one the child he talks like that he talks like <laughs> wacky I don't remember anything of that show except for that character and natural thornberry that's the only other thing I remember that show. I love that show. It was a really good show. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the Wild Thornberries. They were a wild family whose last name was Thornberry. I wonder... I was about to say that series needs a reboot, but I should really watch the entirety of the original first before making that judgment. I, I should not be any... Um... Uh, like, authority on what needs reboots and what don't. Donnie? Was it Donnie? It might have been Donnie. It was probably Donnie. It was most definitely Donnie. Most definitely, definitely Donnie. Pill of grape juice? Yeah. Donnie Thornberry. There was Donnie Thornberry, Nigel Thornberry, and there was the, there was the edgy teenage girl. There was the red-headed girl, who was not very edgy. And then there was the mother. And there might have been somebody else, too. But I don't recall. Not quite yet. Ooh, it's time to queue up the next batch of wine. If I do that and that, there is an 80% chance of wine happening. I would fear there would be a live-action thing, but I don't think it's aged that bad. Uh, you know, I feel like... Because like, I feel like this isn't the first time that I've brought up the idea of the wild thornberries in my head in the last year. So it's possible there is like a live action thing going on or something of the sort. Maybe. I'm okay with it. Whatever. Hey, I like to think of it this way. I feel like if you're going to do a reboot like that, go for it, right? Like... For all those who are, like, trying to compare it to, like, oh my god, it's not as good as the original, or it's not continuing the thing, like, maybe it's just a show of its own. Maybe we shouldn't worry about that so much. How about you just judge the show just for what it is and be like, all right, this is a standalone thing. This could be, this can be its own thing. And I, I think I'm okay with that. I don't know. Debbie was the teen, Eliza was our pro tag, and the mom was Marianne? Maybe. I believe it. I feel like Debbie... Debbie, ring, Debbie rings a bell. Eliza definitely rings a bell. And I, I, like, the Marianne isn't sticking with me. But that just might because, be because of battery. All right, my surface is officially shut off. It is now very much a black screen. Unfortunate. So I guess I'm going to have to... I guess I'll have to monitor the stream from my phone. Hmm. Note to self. Not a sustainable solution. Not a sustainable solution. That's fine. I know how to do it from here. Get out of here. Nope, stop, stop. Too many exceptions. Too many exceptions going on. Stream manager. Manager. Managerial. Yes, there we go. Wonderful. Everything is good now. Everything is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ah! Oh, I can't do that? Oh, that's sad. Usually I have... Usually I have the number of viewers and followers and stuff, like, completely blocked out, just so I don't get distracted by it all but i can't seem to turn that off on the phone interesting can i 
Can I? No, I really can't. All right. Nah, I don't want to do that. I can run ads? That's a thing I can do? I can run ads? Why would I do, why would I want to do that? That's boring. Ads are boring. Marianne, I think, is mostly because of the accent Nigel would have it when he'd say it, but not confident. Marianne. Oh my goodness, that fits a little too well. Marianne. <laughs> Nigel Thornberry. Mm. Smashing. <laughs> that is... That feels uncomfortably appropriate. Hmm. I'm gonna go talk to the Inquisitor on top of the hill. Hmm. What time is it? It's like 11 o'clock. Oh, you know... I have to wrap things up soon. I do have to get up for work in the morning. God, I'm having a really good time. This is great. Another thing about why I'm really, really happy about, like, the camera thing is now that that artificial mental block of, oh, I can't do this because of this. Now that that's out of my head, I feel like I have this, like, revitalized sense of motivation and assurance. Like, that's why I'm like, I'd really, like, if I can, I'd like to stream two days a week, like, on the regular. So I might switch myself to, like, maybe Mondays and Wednesdays, just so I keep the Wednesday thing. That, or I might pivot to Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't know yet. It's, honestly, I don't really know. All right, so you have nothing to say. Moving on, then. But, like, I, I don't know. I'd like, to, I'd like to do more of it. It'd be really, really cool if I could do more of it. And so, I, I, I'm revitalized. I'm, like, really excited about it. I'm, I'm smiling. It's great. And Tim Curry is too good a voice. My God. What else does Tim Curry do? What else did he do? Ah, oh, Tim Curry rings a bell. Like, he's definitely done other things. Yo, you got a body for me? Not right now. Can I, like, talk to you, donkey? If I just, like, stand in front of you, will you, like, take me back to my farm? My graveyard? Yeah. Yeah, graveyard time. Oh, come on. Yep, yep, come on. Just, just pile it along. Yep. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Donkeys are the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Donkeys are... Donkeys are beasts of burden. Yeah, do that work. Donkey dude. Comrade. Comrade. Da -ba donkey donk I haven't talked to you in a while. Do you have any missions? Can I talk to you? Wait, 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 wait. Do you have any missions? I know you don't just walk away. No, wait. No. Where are you going? I'm following you. I need to know where you go. Because I want to talk to you. I want to learn more about you. Show me your love, donkey. Show me what it's like to be you. I want to see the world from your perspective. I have never been such a beast of burden of that caliber before. I don't think I could carry an entire body wagon day in and day out. I want to know what it's like from your perspective. I need to know, man. Dude, tell me how it is. Not now. Not now. Not ever. We need answers. I need closure. You will give me closure. Please give me closure. My comrade, comrade in arms, I will follow you to the depths of the earth, the ends of the earth, to see what it's like from your perspective. I want to know what it's like to be a comrade like you. My friend, please reach out your hands, reach out your palms and touch, touch upon this. And in the meantime, let us educate ourselves. The tar thing, that same to saying toxic love from Fern Gully. It feels like every time animation needed an evil mad scientist, it would be Tim Curry. But Frankenfurter from Rock and Rocky Horror is probably an easier big role name. Was that? Oh, that totally was Tim Curry. Oh, for sure. Oh my god. Oh, for sure. Frankenfurter. The the transcendental, transsexual from Transylvania. I don't think I got the the first word right. I don't think it was transcendental. Yo, did the donkey just disappear? Yo, whoa, 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 what? What? Does he hang in here? Donkey? The donkey just disappeared. Wow, oh, okay. That was interesting. Still can't build an elevator, though. Can't sell crates because... I just cannot. Just, just cannot. I am very confused about it all. I still don't know what to do about it. All right, actually, okay, let me see. Find out what Miss Charm knows about her father, so I gotta wait until Charm Day. He's the sweet transvestite. 
from transsexual Transylvania. That's what it was. And you know what? Whatever. He's transcendental. Let's go for it. Let's go with it. The postmodern take on it all. Jerry. Merchant. Bring gold star dinners. Sell crates. The dark ritual. Vial of perfume. I worked on that. I got to talk to Miss Charm double. I will wait until... Uh, la, 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 downward facing day. To give Miss Charm the vial of perfume and to talk to her about her father. So we will do that. For, we will do that, and that'll be the last thing that we do before we call things. We call it for. We we'll call it for the night. A couple of other things that I want to make sure that I get accomplished this evening, stream related and both non-stream related. And it's already at eleven o'clock, so hopefully I can wind up getting some sleep from that. But really, really, who needs sleep? Some would say that sleep is for the weak. I shouldn't say that, because sleep is most definitely not for the weak. I am not that... I mean, maybe I am a weak... Within the, you know what? You know, I sleep. I sleep, and perhaps that makes me a weak individual. And if that is the case, then I'm weak. But what's wrong with that? But I'm weak. And what's wrong with that? Boy, oh boy, I love it when I fall for that. I'm weak. But what's wrong with that? Boy, oh boy, I love her when I fall for that. Let's do some alchemy. Let's do some alchemy while we're waiting. I figured out growth hormone. So that's a thing that we figured out. Um, and that actually makes sense. Like ash, ash as a part of a recipe for fertilizer makes total sense. How do we make that other fertilizer? Like quality fertilizer level two. Quality fertilizer level two requires flavor enhancer. I do not yet have flavor enhancer, but I wonder what else I can mix with ash to be able to obtain such flavor enhancement. Let's see what happens. Let's do ash and I don't know. Oil? I think, yeah, that makes black paint. So I already knew about that. Probably should have realized that. All right, that's fine. Let's do ash and Let's do Ash and... I did Life Solution. Chaos Solution. Let's see what that does. Anything? All right, we got some oil goo. Probably saying that we need to mix for paint. That's fine. Let's do Ash... Oh, how about Ash and Blood? Oh, that might be a thing, right? Maybe, maybe Ash and Blood? Goo of Life, okay. No. Just kidding. Uh, la 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 Let's do Ash and... Slowing Solution. Let's try it all. Oil Goo. Okay. I know, I know. You want me to mix the Ash and the Oil. I got that. I, but I, I don't want to. You see, I don't want to. Let's do that and Health Solution. Let's see about that. Ash and Blood feels like a very vampire combo. Right? You'd expect we get something from that. Oil goo, yet again. It's a good thing we got a lot of ash to work with. Let's try death solution. Ash and death. Goo of life. You know, perhaps it's possible that flavor enhancer is one of those things that I have to research up here at the advanced crafting table. So let's actually try, let's try ash and was it order? Uh, life solution and acceleration extract that feels like an appropriate combination if anything's an appropriate combination that feels like it is maybe that'd be really cool goo of chaos and goo of health okay chaos and health so maybe that means to do ash chaos and health no that was death don't want that chaos let's try chaos maybe that's how that works Ash just really wants to make things alive. To li make things live. Oh yeah. Really. Chaos. And... Oh, what was the other one? I forgot. I forgot what it was. It was, um... Life. Chaos and life? Yeah, it was chaos and life, I believe. Ash. Chaos. Life. Life. Let's, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is exactly what we were hoping for. Or maybe it's exactly not what we're hoping for. Let me put the goo in its proper place. Goo in the proper place. I actually, t I can turn this goo back into its, um, its components too, which is rather convenient. 
Recycling's got a cool, like, hey, even if you fail, you still get something from it. All right, that was Silver Goo and Goo of Order. Goo. Goo or Order. Goo, goo or Order. Goo or Order! I like it. Okay. So that was Goo of Order and Silver. Well, Silver, I think, only comes as a dust. So that would have to be the beginning, right? How much silver dust do I have? Is it silver powder? Silver and order. The other one was order. So what if I put order solution here, and then the other thing I had there was acceleration ex extract. So I'm gonna try that. And then I'm gonna try, and then I'm gonna try silver, Let's see, order and acceleration. Then I'm gonna try, uh, I might need acceleration solution. So let's put that in there. And then something that gives, uh, what is it? Order. What is orderful that I can make into an extract? I don't have any order extract, not yet. But what creates order in general? I think the maggots create life. The bees created order. Beeswax gives slowing. I need extracts. I need things that would give me extracts. That's not extracts. None of these guys are... Oh, I've never researched a butterfly. Need more bees? It might be a bee. I don't think bees can be turned into extracts, though. If I'm correct in saying... I could be wrong about that. Let me study... Oh, I can study the silver goo. Nice. Excellent. Research. Silver goo. Got some goo. Can be turned into powder, naturally. Um, butterflies. I have not done butterflies. I feel like maybe butterflies can be decomposed into essence. Let's try a butterfly. Let's see what happens if I turn a butterfly in there. Um, green jelly. Oh, you know, I think green jelly. Uh, actually, I think green jelly will do it. Yep, that'll do it. Green jelly. Green jelly will do it. And a new body has just come in the mail. Happy for that. Or, but let's see, let's see if this plays out. Um, it was silver, order, and acceleration. And if that doesn't work, we're going to try silver, order, and then chaos, I believe it was. Chaos was the one that was there originally. Oh, we got goo of health and... Oh my goodness. it's a lot of goo. What is that other one? Is that blood goo? No, that's toxic goo. Oh, I don't have any toxic solution. I haven't done any toxic solution yet. All right, well, let's research some of those. Some of those other goos. Got more goos to research. All the way at the bottom, right? Goo, 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 goo. Oh, I can research the slowing extract. Makes sense. The more the merrier. The more information, the merrier. Let's do the toxic goo, which I'm sure can be decomposed into... Anything we need? Yep. Makes sense. Anything else to research? Nah. Not yet. Put the goo back. This should almost be... That's almost done. So we'll get there. We'll get there. So I'll wait on that. And then the other thing will be... No toxic solutions. Just toxic problems. <laughs> Clever. Clever girl. I've always wanted to watch Jurassic Park. And I feel so bad that I haven't. Ugh. Eventually I will. Eventually. Eventually. Alright, we got some of that. Order extract. And try one more time. Silver. Chaos. And... See if this works. I have a feeling that it might be more complicated than that. But we'll see. Let's see. Oh my god! Look at that! That was it. That's how you figure it out. So, so, it seems, basically, you will get goos of the other ingredients. I knew that silver comes in only a dust. So that had to be the dust. And it was just a combination of the other two that I had to do. Okay, cool. Cool. Wow. Silver elixir. What is that good for? I don't know. Can I research it? I can research order extract. That makes sense. Completed the study. I need more cutlets. And apparently need to go to sleep. But I'll do that eventually. Oh, I can't actually research that. Oh, unfortunate. Alright. 
I'll put the rest of the solutions down here. Do I have space for all these solutions? I do. I do. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, put the oil down here. Uh, put the spices down here. Spices are useful. I'm gonna decompose this butterfly. Why not? Because we can. Turn you into... Oh, it's purple. Oh, chaos. Now, since when are butterflies chaotic? I don't know, dog. Anyway, I have silver elixir. I don't know what to use that for yet. Can, is it used in any particular recipes? Uh, silver solution? Nope. What about up here? Nah, not really. Hm. Don't know what to do with silver solution yet. Maybe that's something I can craft over here. It's, it's like purple looking, right? Butterfly effect feels very chaotic. Ah, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Butterfly effect. Chaos. Time. Everything. The world. The world. Oh, I forgot. I can make books now. With the power of faith. Power of faith compels you. I can make rope. Oh, look at this. Different types of injections. Oh, you know? Different types of injections can be used with alchemy. And I feel, based off of color alone, that this is the route to go next with that. Feels like it. Feels like it. Um, it is almost Sunday. Caterpillars turn into goo when cocooned, but when they come out, their memories and stuff is fine, yeah? I don't know. That's such an interesting... Actually, I just saw an article on that recently where they finally got, like, microscopic... Like, like they got, like, um, microscope images of the formations of the butterfly forming inside of the goo that is the inside of the cocoon. Like, that is so wild. That is incredibly wild to me. Life is so freaking amazing. But, like, I, all I saw was that I didn't actually read the article too much. I was like, ha, butterflies. Uh, but I, I saw, like, a little, like, microscope picture of, like, little... They kind of look like panels on your house. Uh, but they were, like, scales. Like, micro scales forming inside of the chrysalis. And I was like, that is... Oh, man, that is so cool. Oh, I can actually make these different prayers now. I forgot about that. Oh, but I should build up chapters. I should build up better chapters to have better luck with it. And for that, I would need better notes, better stories. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's good. That's good. That's good. We'll get some blue points over here. Yeah. We'll try to see how much of those I can get to make more, more stuff. Oh, I'm still tired. I really should go to sleep, but I'm not going to. Not yet. There's too many stories to be written. Though, if butterflies are chaos, I wonder what the moths are or frogs. So frogs actually can't be decomposed. Oddly enough. Uh, I'm curious about the moths, though, but I don't have any on me. I'll have to investigate that another time. The, vo the world of alchemy beckons. Eventually, we will be back. We will be back to see what it's all about. We must research it eventually. And if I forget... Y'all are more than welcome to remind me. The Frogo is spared. That, like, I don't know what the Frogo is used for. I guess, I feel like the frog only has one purpose. Which is a good thing. I mean, frogs seem innocent. Uh, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, shouldn't kill the Frogos. Do not kill the Frogos. The Frogos did not deserve it. Oh my god, but I got all these chapters now. All these pieces of paper. All these blue points. Let's try to make... Yeah, that's not really worth it. So, I'm gonna make a couple of these brown chapters. These bronze chapters. Make a few of those. They take a lot of energy. This takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy to write a novel. Yeah. Yeah, it do. I believe it. Being a novelist is hard. Okay. Now that I got all of these chapters, I could make potentially a nice book hardcover let's make a hardcover book can i do that hardcover hardcover book hardcover book hardcover book hardcover book i need a soft cover first and for that i need paper and i need tanning agent i think actually do i i don't think i have tanning agent all right well that'll be another time i guess um i'll go upstairs i'll put this ink away black paint put these chapters back boop 
I have a burial certificate. That's one of them. I shall go up and do a church service. And after we are finished with the church service, I'm going to sleep until charm day. Until next day. And then, uh, yeah, I think that'll probably be it for the evening after we talk to Miss Charm and see what else is going on. We'll pick up again next week with another wonderful episode of Graveyard Keeper! I say stretching. Sorry, I had to stretch there for a moment. Let us play for the breast. Blessing, 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 blessing. Bless your soul. Bless your everything. Bless your everything. Um, yeah. And then, of course, I'll be back on Saturday. I'll be playing Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm really looking forward to that. And that will be the official, the official Thank Miss Donations stream. I... I will be making a donate. I will be making donations myself. Don't think that I'm going into this without putting my own wallet on the line. I plan on donating the monies. I get I get paid a pretty hefty paycheck now, and I feel like there are people out there so much less fortunate that I that I feel like could use it. So that's that's my reason for it. That and plus, somebody's got to make an example, and I'm more than happy to do so. Go back to the sweet home. Take a little, take a little sleepies. Take a little sleepies. Take a little sleepies. But that'll be fun. That'll be really, 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 really fun. I'm gonna look forward to it. I don't exactly know. So I, I plan on going for more or less all day. And I'm more than sure. I am more than confident that I will be able to get through the game by the time that the day has ended. Like, I, I'm confident in that. I feel like it's definitely a thing that can happen. Because I don't recall the game being particularly difficult. Um, I know there was a bunch of characters. We'll see We'll see if we can get to the end. I don't think I ever actually completed the entire game. I don't think I ever did. Because um, I, I know, I think if you get all of the emblems in the game, you unlock Metal Sonic. That's not the goal. That That is most certainly not the goal. The goal is not that. The goal is to, I guess, get... Maybe finish all the stories, I guess? I don't really know. We'll figure that out as it comes along. We'll figure it out as we come along. So now, actually, actually, I want to see, find out how to make gold extract, right? Because if silver only comes as a dust, I believe gold only comes as a dust. So let's try to figure out this system, right? Right? I don't have much of it, though. But I can always make more. So let's try gold and chaos and slowing. Let's see how that works. I've got chaos and toxic. I don't have any toxic extracts at all. So, not sure if that's going to work. Hmm. I have to save that, I guess. Ah! I wonder, can I use spices with anything? Spices? Spicy? Can, can, you, can you get spicy goo? Is that a thing? Spicy goo? Oh, you know, actually... Mm hmm. Nah, I don't want to do that. Spicy goo oil and I don't know uh, the green stuff we'll try that let's do that I like the green stuff we got chaos and silver goo chaos and silver goo well that was because oh what did I just put in there oh crap I forgot what it was I did oil and I did the green stuff at the end. So I just got chaos and silver go. Ooh, so... What was the last thing I put in there? The last thing that I put in there was... The green stuff. Oh! The chaos and silver goo. That's... That's this, right? Yeah, chaos and silver and... Oh! Oh, you know, maybe... Oh, you know what? Actually, let me... Maybe this is another recipe for silver extract. Let me, let me test that. Okay, that. Chaos. And order extract oh yeah that oh that's literally what i just made oh huh <laughs> nice nice okay well that's fine <laughs> that's okay it's okay to do things over again totally fine we'll pick up on it uh we'll pick up more on alchemy next week we'll do more more alchemy next week yeah put all that i got a lot of goo in there i did i love how there's electric goo I have no idea how to get electric stuff. 
but I want to know. I need to find out how to know. I will become the master of the goo. One day. Not today. Today I am not master of the goo. But one day. Onwards to the dead horse to go talk to Miss Charm, and then we're going to call it. I'm going to call it for the evening. What is it? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Find out. Next time. Miss Charm, I, ha uh, I have some perfume. Here you go. A uh, vial of perfume. Ah, uh, let me kiss you. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll wear it to my concert at the Royal Palace. Finally, I will reach the pinnacle of my career. So many things still remain to be prepared. By my sins, you're so sweet to me. Maybe you can help me a little bit more. I need a romantic story for the opening of the concert. Maybe you'll think of something. I'm a bad writer myself, and I don't want something trivial. Hmm, I know where I can get a good story for you. Oh, you're the kind of man I can fall in love with. <laughs> Chuckle. Write a good story for you? I have a great story. Oh, I need a really good story. Ah, uh, I need a really good story. I don't think... I have yet to make a really good story. However, maybe if I give myself a story making thing, story making perk, maybe I'll do better next time. Story making perk. Ma'am, we're married. I am betrothed already. Thank you very much. Writing tricks. Oh yes, there we go. You know how to put words together. Sometimes you even manage to write a good sentence. Mother would be proud. Nice. And then at 100, I get play rate? Wow. You write good books. Actually, you find you can just write down anything you remember from modern culture. Nice. Because we make the stories. Modern culture. It's gotta be a good it's gotta be a good thing. I'm completely out of blue points. My goodness. Completely out of good point blue points. Anyway, you know? Y'all? Peoples is That was really, really entertaining. Thank you all so much for allowing me to do this for y'all. And to be able to have a good time. Having a good time, yeah. He is so refreshed. He is graveyard, and he is refreshed. Let's see what's going on. Everybody, it's been great. It's been fun. It's been wonderful. And with that, we are getting in here. Graveyard keeper. Gravekeeper, you know what? I can make Harry Potter this time. Oh, totally. Harry Potter. We can go with Hunger Games. We can go Maze Runner. We can go Cyberpunk. The entirety of the Cyberpunk genre. I'm into that. I'm really, really into that. So, to everybody who came around, thank you so much. I very much appreciate everybody being here. We made a wonderful cocktail this evening. We'll be back on Saturday to benefit New Story in recognition of Hashtag Thankmas as a part of the Hashtag Hippo Hype charity stream group co-starring myself and a good buddy of mine, Lycos Lore, aka Glennifer, aka who I'm going to begin calling Hippo Man from this point forward. It's... It's been wonderful, everybody. I appreciate you all coming. Yeah. Um. Oh, where's my my microphone on this? Yeah, it's still on there. Awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. I really appreciate it, guys. It was really, really cool. So I hope to see you all next night. Good night. I hope things go well for you all as well. To the week ahead, to the next couple days. We have we have made it over the hump. We have made it over the hump of Wednesday, and I think that is that is extremely important. So, to everybody out there, my sincerest thanks. As for always, love y'all. No matter where you are, no matter what time zone you're in, have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful morning. Have a wonderful afternoon, twilight, dawn, second breakfast time. Maybe it's 2.37 p.m. over there. And I hope you have a wonderful 2.37 p.m. It's certainly not that time over here. Actually, it's probably 2.33. In any case... So long, everybody. The party continues wherever we are. Till next time.